<laughs> there you go. Hey, got it. Let me bring you up on my phone so I have chat. Hey, there we go. Got to mute it. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you messaged me back. Oh, you sent the, oh my God, look at that flamingo. <coughs> oh my God, Dang I know. It. It's the same height awesome. as me. I know. Hi, it's guys. Than you. Hi, Clint. Hi, Hi, Wanda. Yeah. Hi, everybody. If you just came in, hi, Teresa. We're talking about uh, flamingo. Yeah. I got a flamingo today that's five foot tall. <laughs> <coughs> I'll post a picture of it tomorrow. Hi, Janice. Um, so I have Miss uh, Shannon is here with me. Y'all know Shannon. Hello. <laughs> she might pop up. Oh, it might not show you unless you talk, but. Yeah, I have to that. talk in order for me to come up. Unless you have yourself clicked. Yeah, if I you do. you have yourself presented, I won't show. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, it don't bother me <laughs> either way. I can kind of show you a picture of the flamingo, but it'll be off my phone. But yeah, it's it's huge. It's so big. It's big. It's it's the same height as me. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Pink Rose. This is kind of a spirit of the moment thing, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this is hi, Mary. Uh, this is the first live I've done since the auction. Hey, but, well, besides the um, besides the Pictionary one. Oh right. But I I made this flower tonight. And I was like, I want to go live, so I might as well just show them how I made it. And I still have that lace. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> I just went and bought it, so. <laughs> I think I got mine. I want to say Joanne's. Yeah, this was, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and this was all they had. It could have been type, Hobby Lobby, but. But I can't do it how I do my other flowers because of this end. Uh-huh. So I had a brain fart. I took some, my big binding needle I have here. And I have some organza. Organdy ribbon, it's called. It's just a thin one. Oh, you <laughs> called me a hoe. <laughs> Hi, son, Spanky, and ho, Shannon. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Love you, too. You uploaded a video? Aw. Oh. I didn't see it yet. I seen you went live earlier. I wasn't home. I went and met with um, Miss Kathy D today to give her her auction stuff, and we had a good two-hour long visit chat. So that was fun. <coughs> All right, want to hurry here. back? I'm here, but I'm going to cover you up with my file screen so I can find a picture. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm taking my needle here and I'm weaving in and out with my ribbon under each of those little pieces there. And then I pull it down on the ribbon. <coughs> and with this one, you can use any ribbon because you won't see it except for on the very back, which you can barely see it. <coughs> It's okay, Mary. Don't even worry. I found it comical. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It won't be the first time. <laughs> it won't be the last. No, certainly not. All right. So then you pull a little bit of a tail. You don't need that long of a tail. I think it's doubled. Yeah. All right. So you don't want a long tail because you don't want to waste ribbon. So you just pull it until it's close enough to... <laughs> to gather. Sorry about my coughing, you guys. You're okay. Going on. And I've got a different type of cough drop that I've been using, and I still cough. Ugh. So you pull it, and make sure you have enough that you can tie right here. I would say about an inch and a half or so. That sticks off. So then you're just going to tie it like this. And pull it as tight as you can. And then you're going to do another knot. Come on. 
Yeah, I was I was gonna just weed the ribbon in there and then sew it, but doing it this way, I don't have to sew. So, yay! Then you trim your piece like this, and you kind of just like flimsy it around. <clears throat> in this piece here, where the two edges are, you take your hot glue carefully, and you dab your glue across one side. And then you take your ribbon and you kind of your the top the pretty side of the flower is going to be facing up so you're going to take it and sandwich it like this until it grabs then you just kind of pinch it together and then you kind of like just wiggle it just kind of like make it stretchy and to flatten it out a little bit I just let it go wherever it wants to go, basically. <clears throat> and then I put some glue in the center there. If I can get it. And I grab one of my gems. And place that bad boy down. Ouch, that was hot. Place that bad boy in the center and push. There we go. How you do it? Hi, Sabrina. <clears throat> Those are adorable. I'm loving it. And um, ooh, that was hot. So that's how I did those ones. This one. This is ones I just did tonight. And the other day, I did all of these. And they're the same way, except for instead of using this. I use thread and I weave it, you know, in and out with a running stitch. <clears throat> and then um, I pull it together at the end and I tie it. And unless you're looking for it, you can't see where the end is, the seam. Hi, Susan. Squirrel's not here. Squirrel's in bed. Hi, Kathleen. But, um, Hi, everybody. So you can't really see where the uh, where I glued it together. If you do it nice enough and take your time, right here is where I glued it together, which, I mean, you can't even tell where it's glued together. And then you just wiggle it a little bit and then put your top on. So these are ones I made the other day. <clears throat> My mom tried to steal some of them. It was funny. Oh, I have another gold one and a blue one somewhere. I have one of each color, two of each color. Oh, here they are. There we go. <coughs> I'm I'm here. Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to size things here. Yeah, and I have Shannon on with me tonight. I was oh. like, I'm gonna go live. I was like, you wanna go uh, hang go with me? And she's like, What? I thought you were gonna go live. I said, I am, we can do hangouts. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant a private one. I was like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, I'm not going to keep this extra piece right here. That's, I usually do, but I'm not going to. So I just toss that extra in the in the trash. <clears throat> Hi, Susan. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so these are going to be done with black. I think I'm just going to do these with the black gem in the middle. I like how they look with the black. Yeah, they do look good with black. <clears throat> they look good with that caramel color, too. Oh, oh, I picked up, I did pick up some of those, these, um, like, they're smaller ones of these I picked up. The pony beads? No, the, these are the, these are sparkly on top. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I ran out oh, of the caramel, I, well, I have a few of those caramel ones, which are for the other flowers. So if you guys weren't in here in the beginning, <laughs> we were talking about something I picked up today. Um. I will show you really quick. I got a five foot flamingo today. <laughs> it's literally awesome. It's, it's awesome as heck. It is. It's I only got it because it was on it was on clearance. <clears throat> oh, Aunt Becca's awesome. She's got some great stuff. But yeah, so um this spool, 
I got it was four ninety nine, and this is all that was left, plus a half of a heart, which was on the front of it when I first started it. But it's three yards, and I'm getting 11, 11 flowers total. <clears throat> so each ribbon is going to be different to um, how much you need. There's not a specific size. Um, like these, I just count. I make one. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every seventh, I would trim. So on this one, there's nine points. On this one so it just depends on how how your ribbon is or whatever you're using this is really stiff compared to this this is really soft and stuff so it just depends and you can do it with any type of ribbon or um, lace I have other whoops I just got stuck on my chair I have other lace that I've done it with before I don't know where I stuck those those ones at but let's see here Get my bag of little lace. <clears throat> the wider your lace, the longer it needs to be. I do know that. Um, this size of lace, which is, that looks blue on here, but it's purple. <laughs> These are purple, not blue. My lighting. Let me dim this a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Um... Like with this one, I go usually about six inches. And then the different sizes, I stack one on top of the other. But so the little, the littler laces that just, you can make so many flowers. I did some a while ago. I posted pictures before of these, of the ones I did with this. But like with this ribbon, this lace, I would probably go about seven inches because it's a little wider. So again, I'm just going to go here, try and put that in there. I'm just going to weave it in and out. Whoops, missed one. Usually they're, the ones I usually get is solid on the bottom. This is... This is the first one I got where it was like this. And I was like, crap, how am I going to do this now? And then I was like, wait, I got some thin ribbon. So I figured I would just give it a shot. And so, yeah, no sew even. This, I don't know what the name of this one is. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just decorative trim and ivory is all it says. I can take a picture of the um, the number for it, of it, um, Cheryl, and then I'll send you a picture so that way you can, when you can look for that specific number. You may want to know what, what you're using to put it together. Oh, this is Organdy ribbon. I got it at a thrift store. It's just thin ribbon. Yeah, any thin ribbon would work, huh? Just yeah, any, yep, anything color. ribbon. Yeah, yeah. this one, I was like, oh, I figured this would show up, so it would be pretty as like a border, but it didn't even show up when I when I tie it. It doesn't show up, so that's cool. Well, you cover it with that center piece anyway, so. Yep, yeah, the center piece covers it, so I wouldn't have it. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> I was on Hangouts <laughs> with Kiki before I started. Went live. Oh, were you? I'm the yep. little voice in the corner. <laughs> we were slave driving. She's making, making mini poppies. Poppies? Yeah, those like poppies those, are pretty yeah. beautiful. Like the big ones that she did? Yeah, she's making mini ones. They're super cute. I'll show you what I was making. <clears throat> I was making these. <laughs> They're beautiful. I already have eight sets of these done already. <laughs> We're going to have to put you in Flowers Anonymous. I know. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <coughs> Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I just I just got on here, hon. 
It was so awesome to meet you today. Oh, uh, she, Sabrina, next time Kathy comes down, I'm going to, I'm going to kidnap you to come over and we're going to have some jelly plate fun. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to, I'll put the uh, table up in the kitchen and yeah, have some fun on the jelly plate. It amazes me, it amazes me how simple and quick these little flowers, but how beautiful they are. I know. Yeah. Like that one, the other lace I had, that's so pretty. I wish, and I was trying to look for this and I don't, I got it. I've had it for a while and I was trying to find more of this, but this is all they had of something similar. And I was like, Crap. I have got to get me that tattered flower die. Yeah. The tattered angels or yeah. not tattered angels. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Tim Holtz. Yeah. The Tim Holtz. Yeah. They have it in two um, two sizes. <clears throat> the small ones and the, the small ones. Your husband says I can keep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep you. <ya. laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my husband. I've, I've got <laughs> if you got bigger fingers than mine, like tying knots sometimes are a pain in the ass. But just be careful. And uh, the first one I did when I tied it, my one of the strings were on the other side, so I just stuck it back on my needle and fed it through the center, and pulled it back out the bottom to tie it again. Because I wasn't paying attention how I tied it. But if you watch how you tie it, then you won't have a, to worry about that part. But but I hung up on you. I went to change my Wi-Fi thing and completely clicked <laughs> Wi-Fi off. <laughs> nice. I know. So then you Where's just that? you would just want to make sure you know which your top is and where your bottom is, so that way when you glue this, the glue side is at the underside. Kiki says those tattered florals come in four sizes. Yeah. The 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 oh really? I've only seen the the two. Is there another in betweener? Oh, wait, I know he's got a larger set, isn't, isn't there? And just be careful with your glue. It gets hot. Whenever I do these, I kind of like let it kind of set a second before I squish it. Because it, it'll, it gives time to cool off. And like when you're done, you don't even... Oh, I got glue on my finger. My my boo-boo, there's where my burn was. Ugh all pretty much healed now and if you take your time and do it you won't know where your seam is <laughs> i have to really like look afterwards like i don't know where unless i'm peeling on the bottom you can't tell where the seam is yeah and i like how these lay like it looks like i folded them or like it's layered when i showed squirrel he was like is there two layers on there i was like nope it's just how i did it it's just how they lay and each one's different they're not going to be the same yeah <laughs> oh, the more the quilt, yeah. I can't imagine them being smaller than the small that you guys are doing. Oh, let me, I'll have to show you. Well, I showed you last night, didn't I? The small one. Yeah, the tiny little. Yeah, the, them die, the dyes are tiny, tiny. What are all the red spots on your left hand? Oh, that's psoriasis, hon. It gets it looks bad on screen, but it's not that bad in person. It's not yeah. that bad in person. <clears throat> and it's my lighting picks up a lot of extra colors. It's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, it brings person. it out. Yeah. Cause it, it washes out your skin. Yep. And then any color it makes it pop. Yes. It's it it irritates. How is yeah. that uh, lotion it's working? On, um, oh, it's working really good. Is it? Awesome. Yeah, they're actually a lot better than what they were. That's awesome. Um, yeah. I, after I had my son, I got got really sick, and this is what what happened afterwards. <laughs> I'm trying to find. I don't know where my dyes went, Kiki. Where did I put them? Oh. Did you, Sabrina? Cool. Yeah, Dollar Tree's got some pretty cool bottles. Yeah. 
What did I do with it? I just had that dice. No, I don't know where I stuck them. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just like literally just had them, and I oh, are they right there? No. Well, now I don't. Oh, nope, that's not them. Oh, I gotta um, show you what I got at the thrift store. Cheryl said ivory heart <laughs> drop lace trim, one and a half inch. Star beyond the first to write a review, four ninety nine. <laughs> Zero stars be the first to write a review. Where did? Oh, here they are. Nope. That. Oh, yes, they're there. All right. So this is the small set. Okay. These are actual size. Holy shamoly. Yeah, I I put them in separate bags. Because these these dies are extremely tiny. Like <laughs> you'll lose them. Like look at how tiny that one is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's my finger now. Like they're tiny. Wow. And there's one even smaller. My hands are too manly to do that intricate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my fingers are all in the way. <laughs> right? <laughs> They look good on camera, but in person, they're pretty manly. <laughs> so the other day, mom and I went to Salvation Army because she was looking for some capris. Because they have to go to Florida at the end of May because my stepdad's brother's dying. Oh, no. And um, so we went there, and I, they had half off everything sale. And I come across this. <clears throat> uh -oh. And I, I didn't really notice what it was at first. I just seemed like. I thought it was uh, beads and some other things in here. No, that's not what it was. No, it's for hand stamping metal. Yeah, yeah. brand new. It was all brand new in the box. It come with a little I totally need that. needed that like three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> and it come with like uh, stuff to stamp, a stamp plate, the uh, pliers, the chains, and little, little things to, that you can stamp on. Yeah, and you can get blanks of all different kinds. Yeah, I seen some at Hobby Lobby today. But yep. so this was half off of thirteen dollars. Oh, that's not bad. No, not at all. It's what six fifty? Yeah. So I was like, oh my god. And I only bought it just for the one thing and I didn't realize that it was like the whole thing. So I thought that was an awesome buy. Very good deal. <laughs> yeah. I got it can't... home and I was like, oh my gosh, look. Harbor Freight has the letter punches. Uh, I think they're fourteen dollars for the small set. Oh, nice! Hi, River. <clears throat> yeah, those dies are tiny. Oh yeah, Susan. My mom um, had rosacea and something else uh, when I was younger, and I got rosacea when I was like fifteen, sixteen. But then it went away, and then after I had my son, I got really sick, and the chemical balance went out of whack, and I got psoriasis. I'm very self-conscious about it. Um, not as bad now as what I used to be, but it covers about 80% of my body. You know that um, roll of moss? You know what I'm talking about? It's a roll of moss with, like, a grid on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Any like tip dirt? on how to seal that to keep it from shedding? Oh, um, just a spray sealer, maybe. That might work to lock it in. Yeah, is it for that one thing you're doing? Well, I covered a um, I put a picture on a um glass cube, you mm -hmm. know, that you put the lights in, and then I covered the rest of it with the moss, and it looks so <laughs> cute, but it just keeps shedding. Um, hmm. maybe like, um, if you used an acrylic sealer or like a sealer of some sort, and as you sprayed it, like you use rubber gloves or something where it's not going to stick to your fingers and, and pat it, it down. That's, yeah. Pat that's it down. what I was thinking. Like, uh, uh, if, I don't know if they make silicone gloves or, you know, or you could use like a, a craft mat or something, you know, and push it like, you know, spray it and press it down on a craft mat. Yeah. That's what I was <clears> thinking. Oh, it's okay, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, you're fine, Kiki. So out of that entire roll of this, this is all that was left. There's six six hearts, and that's not enough to make one because it won't. Go, well, I don't know. It might work. 
but I don't think it's going to, I, when I did it, it wouldn't go around enough. So that's all that's left, which I can use that on something else. And how many but hearts did it take to make one? Nine. For nine. this specific one, there's nine. And like my other one, I, it only took seven. And then the ones I made before that sold in the auction, that one was only, I think, five or six. So a lot of it just depends on what your, how big it is. And like, this is kind of stiff. So, you know, it doesn't want to pull like the others pulls really good. Hi, Tanya. It's Shannon. Naylor. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> oh, it, it's Shannon. I always want to say Tanya. <laughs> I know. Tanya. I know it's Tanya and I always say Tanya. I, there was a, a lady whose name was Tanya spelled with an IA and I used to always say to me and I'm like, I know it's not that. I know it's Tanya, but I always, I just like. I'm the worst for butchering names. <laughs> yeah. You just have to bear with me. Oh, I feel for you. Yeah, I don't, um, I actually have something on my face, which they're not sure what it is. Um, the one doctor I went to said I had, that's when I was told I had lupus because it's the butterfly rash. Well, then um, last year I went through all the tests and stuff and I don't have lupus, but they're not sure what it is. It's not rosacea. It's not eczema <clears throat> and it's not psoriasis, but I wish I knew what it was because that shit hurts so bad. And when I wear makeup, as soon as I get home, I have to take the makeup off. Um, but I can kind of show you. Sorry, my squeaky chair. Picture. But it, it's like it goes across my forehead, down my nose, and around my cheeks. And it gets, it's irritated. But I got some rose oil and coconut oil I'm trying. So hopefully that'll help. And Shannon's going to send me some ocean water. <laughs> yeah, we're going this weekend. We're going to go all the way out to the very end of Sanibel. And the water is clean out there. And I'll get you some from out there. And then I'll filter it through a cheesecloth before yeah. I... And I'll just put it in um, like the little Dollar Tree plastic bottles mm -hmm. and then I'll wrap them up real tight. Nice. Yeah. Uh, look, we're going to be down there in November, so I might just go dip it in the ocean. Uh, it wouldn't hurt you. Yeah. Cause yeah, I don't wear shorts and I don't wear shorts or and um, long, I wear long sleeves all the time, even in the hot. I don't it. I deal with it, but it comes and goes and. If I'm in the sun, it clears up, but I got to watch how often I'm in the sun and how long I'm in the sun. You should so, research your hometown and see if there's <clears throat> a salt water pool anywhere. Right. Oh, yeah. But, like, there's a lot of people I've talked to in this area that have gotten really bad skin conditions in this area. Whereas, like, the, the one lady in the store, because I had to go get an outfit for my daughter's wedding. So we went to a store and the lady said that her mom, when they moved here, she got psoriasis really bad. And when they went back to Connecticut, it would clear up. Which is weird. Susan, you can totally blame me. Just a second, I blame you for wanting glass bottles. So this is the dress I got for my daughter's wedding. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's a sleeveless. And I got, um, it's a really lightweight um, sweater type overcoat, like, a, I don't know what, camas, I don't know what they call those. What are those called? Oh, I can't think of the word. It's anyways, it's like a sweater that goes down the floor, but that's what I got. And it's, a, it's the print is really pretty. Like, it's beautiful. The price tag was still on that dress. I got that dress at so, uh, Salvation Army. The price tag was still on it. It's like an eighty dollar dress, and I paid half off or three forty nine. So wow. a dollar and change. And then the sweater. This is what the sweater print oh, that's design strange. is. Yeah, and it's really lightweight. But at the grocery store, it's like a Walmart kind of. It's called Myers. Yeah. Um, they had buy one at one price, and you get the other thing for a dollar. So I got two thirty dollar items for thirty one dollars. Wow! So That's and this this deal. this was thirty dollars for that, but um, I can wear this any t other time other than just the wedding. So yep. it's very pretty and it, and it 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 fits really nice and it goes to my feet. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiki. I thought I did. <laughs> 
I think we were talking about it and I didn't show it. But yeah, it, it's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's a good buy. Yeah, cardigan, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> cardigan. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. First time I bought a dress in probably 20 years was for my daughter's graduation. And it's the last dress I bought. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, my daughter was sending me pictures. And she's like, well, you can get the dress like this. And it's literally prom dresses, like lacy, go all out their prom dress. So I'm like, I am not going to wear a prom dress to your wedding. I was like. Yeah, that's not, not a, a mother of the bride dress anyway. And, no, and it's not even a fancy wedding. The guys are wearing button-up shirts with uh, jeans, really nice blue jeans, and cowboy boots. Like um, Tanya, I'm in Florida. I'm like down towards the bottom of Florida. Yes, Tanya. Yes, we will be in Ocala, Florida. Uh, we're leaving here like November 7th. Wait, November 6th or 7th. My daughter's wedding is the 9th, and we're going to be down there for about um two weeks oh, besides, besides the drive back yeah oh, i didn't know you were in pensacola honey sorry <laughs> i don't know it all depends on on my husband well yeah i told shannon i could even come down and visit her like we we, we want to i'm dry we're driving so um we can even just take a day trip and go down and visit and stuff i'd like to go see miss lizzie too that would be awesome yeah, I would totally pass Miss Elizabeth to get to you guys and uh, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. I think Elizabeth's just a little above Kathy. Uh, yeah. I think Carehart is down in um, Florida also. She's, Carehart's 10 minutes away from me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's not too far from you. Yeah. yeah she's in the same town. She's in South Fort Myers. I'm in East Fort Myers, but it takes like 10 minutes. She's right at the Tuesday morning where I go and shop. I think she beats me and gets all the good deals. Yeah, that would be awesome. Susan's in um, Florida, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we want to do like a meet and greet of some sort, even if like, even if I have to drive <laughs> to everybody's house. <laughs> Ocala's about three and a half hours from me, I think. Yeah, my so daughter's wedding's up in, um, oh, God. It's called the Mansion. It's in northern Florida. It's above, um, I think it's Hilliard or something like that. It's above Jacksonville. Um, so let's see. Wedding venue. For me to get up to Pensacola, that's a long haul. Yeah. Florida's a long state. <laughs> yeah, it's in um Hillard, Hillard, Florida. It's called yeah. the Hillard Mansion is where the wedding is, which it's going to take us almost two hours to go to get there. But yeah. But yeah, we're planning on... um, Well, that's why one reason why we're not flying down, because this way we can take time and go meet, meet people's exactly well i'll well, do my best yeah well even if we have to drive down and see you that'd be awesome yeah that's a long haul there spinky nah I drive that hours. far you might as well plan on staying overnight yeah and we're gonna take our time coming back because he got approved for two weeks off so yeah i'll be headed north <clears throat> exactly yeah upstate florida I am right on the Caloosahatchee River, directly on the river. I don't travel very often. I'm not a traveler. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, Tanya, 30 Tanya, minutes on the road and I'm asleep. <laughs> Tanya posted in her group, um, are you a, what was it, uh, a settle or what was that a set a settle or like um basically like do you want to like just go 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 in or settle and i i i didn't answer it because i, I like to travel and i like to just i haven't found my roots yet i, I say i ain't found <laughs> my roots yet i was born and raised right here 
48 years I've been in the same state, same city. Yeah, settle in or go, go, go. But I, I don't know. I just, I, I like, I, I, I say that I'm a, a gypsy at heart is what I told my mom. I just haven't found my roots yet. And I'm not meaning that in a mean way because I, I heard somebody say that um, the word gypsy is a derogatory word. I, I, I don't mind going and seeing places, but I get homesick and I want to go home <laughs> quickly. Yeah, see, like me, I, I haven't found my home. When I lived in New Mexico, it's the only place I ever lived that felt like home. But I just haven't found that again. Except for when we went to Missouri and see Miss Mary, then I was like, yeah, that's home. I have a hard time being comfortable anywhere but home. Yeah. Yeah, his dad, his dad wants us to come down that way in Ocala and stuff. And I'm like, the humidity would kill me, literally. Like, I, my health, I couldn't do the humidity. He's like, well, if you come down in the wintertime, you'll regulate to us. I've lived in Florida before. I can't, uh-uh. I cannot do the humidity. And where, where is it that he wants you to go to? Ocala. Oh. Yeah. See, the further south you go, the worse it is. Yeah. When you're further upstate Florida, it's not as bad. But the, the further down you go where I'm at and then yeah. getting down to the Keys and all, it, it's pretty rough. Well, I've lived, I lived in Daytona. We're, and we've well, lived yeah. in, um, I've lived up by Jacksonville for a couple of years, too, when I was younger, we did. Well, that's another thing, too. When you live in the bigger cities, there's more asphalt and concrete. It makes yeah. it even hotter. Yep. When you're living in a place like Ocala where there's a lot more woods and, you know, stuff like that, it's cooler. Yeah. I lived in Sebring, Florida. That was Sebring's more of like... not that far from me. Yeah, I lived there for about eight months. But that, it, it, they call it like the um, the retirement town. Like that's where people go to retire, they said. Yep. I think Lizzie's in Spring Hill. Is where, yeah, she's in, Lizzie's in Spring Hill. Yeah. But yeah, like I I lived in um over by uh, about 40 minutes from Kansas City, Missouri, and I've lived in Cape Girardeau, Missouri before. And I love the, just the weather. I like I love Missouri. But like New Mexico is the only ever place that I've lived that I felt ever felt like home, but Oh, well, my husband wants to sell this house and buy a sailboat, like a I big sailboat. <laughs> and go sail so i think that's what we'll be doing in about two years time yeah i don't care as long as i have a little nook in that sailboat somewhere for me and my crafts i'll be good well i'll just have to come and swing by and pick you up susan and then we'll go see miss lizzie <laughs> you go. i'll leave squirrel at his mom and dad's <laughs> yeah we gotta throw kathy in there too because she'd be totally upset if we went past her and didn't get her oh yeah yeah we'll have to stop by and see her well, I'll go out and have some lunch or dinner or something. Yeah. We'll let all the guys go to a table off by themselves. Yep. <laughs> your your RV has a glass studio. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to get like one of those travel. I guess it's an RV, but it's the ones that like look like a camper truck. Like where it's the, the, the front of a truck with a camper over it and like it's all open in the back and stuff, you know? Yeah. Like I'm obsessed with wanting one of those. I want one of those because I was like, yeah, but then if it breaks down, you're screwed. And I'm like, well, if I break down in my car, I'm screwed too. It, yeah. At least if you have a camper <laughs> truck, you got somewhere to sleep. Yeah. And it'd be nice to be able to like, you know, just to get in and go. Yep. It's a little easier now. We don't have to worry about having to find somebody to watch Pixie and, um, you know, get, or put her in a kennel, which I was not fond of wanting to do. Mm -hmm. So. That's what I don't, don't understand about Disney World. They have kennels for your animals at Disney World. Why would you take your animal to yeah. Disney World to begin with? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. You have a bathroom and, yeah. 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 We got a motorhome. It's an old one, but it's still nice. We never get to go anywhere in it. 
<laughs> Grandma do these. <laughs> well, not only that, it's Victor with the lawn care. I mean, grass oh, knows yeah. no holiday. And here in Florida, the customers are very it. particular. You have to be there every week at the same time, same day. Um, yeah. Uh, I have no idea. It's an old one. It doesn't have like pop outs or anything like that. It's an old, old one, but it's still really nice. We do need to get a new, um, uh, what, what is that called? The canopy thing. We need awning. to get a new one of those. The awning. Yeah. <laughs> the sun has dry rotted it and he went to roll it out and it just fell apart. Oh no. Yeah. It, Got brand new tires on it, two brand new rooftop air conditioners. Nice. It's got a um, convectional oven in it, brand new. Still has the instructions inside the oven. Oh, wow. I've never even used it. <laughs> but see, like when you go camping, even if you camp in an RV, uh, if you cook on, you know, I usually, we always cooked on the fire pit when we camped. We never cooked on stoves or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, so I've like already, you know, I've already whipped out five of these. Uh huh. On my six one, they don't take that long, and they're not that hard. It's it's really not that hard to make them. And they're beautiful. Yeah, they're they're real. And if you get a white or a cream color, you can dye these with your ink sprays. Yep. I would. Well, I, I thought about. Good. I thought about dyeing them, but I was like, I like this too much, like this. <laughs> and when I sell them, if the person wants to dye them, they can dye them themselves. But, um, yeah, I'm going to I want to go back tomorrow and see if I can't get some more because I love how these are turning out. This would be beautiful with almost an ombre effect to them. Yeah. And you could probably actually, if you didn't want to use hot glue, you could use Fabri-Tac if you have issues with hot glue. Um, you can use Fabri-Tac. Oh, ouch, that's hot. Uh, yeah, Ow, I lost my train of thought because I got my finger. Uh, Fabri-Tac should work just fine. Let me put me on for a second because I want to show you guys something super yep. freaking little Let's nifty see. thing here I found at Walmart. All right, switch into you. There you go. What These the? are little silicone hands. Oh, my God. And you want to talk about and they're strong. They will, hope, will pinch anything together and you will not burn your fingers. Oh, my goodness. I have I not seen these. red Aren't in forever. It's red. And they I work those. so good. Where at in Walmart did you get them? Uh, right in the kitchen. In the I kitchen. have like, the jugs that have all the little silicone utensils in, the little oh, mini ones. I'm, oh, I got to go to Walmart. I think I paid $1.50 for them. Yeah. So I, bought, I bought four. Oh my God! Yeah, and they I, work so good, so good. Yes, yeah, I need a pair of those definitely. Yep. And then if you don't want to pinch it, you can always just use the backside to press it down or whatever. Yeah. Love these things. Oh yep, I need to get a pair of those. Yes. Hi, Susan Corbin. Corbin, I have not seen you in forever. We always called her Red. Hi, little C. Hello. Oh, and I know my mom doesn't watch my videos, you guys, but. Um, if you could keep her in your thoughts and prayers for me, um, Absolutely. they had to reschedule her appointment today, but she's, her skin cancer came back. So if you guys could please, um, put her in your thoughts and prayers, that would be awesome. So awesome. when it rains, it pours, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. That's but, my mom lost the whole bulb of her nose. Yeah. Um, two years ago, Christmas, uh, Christmas will be three years, I think, right, but right around Christmas or so will be three years. Uh, it literally looked, her surgery looked like a dog took her nose off. That's how yep. bad the surgery was. It was, it was gross. Yeah. They and, went deep on my mom's in the middle. So yep. it like sunk in. Yeah. It literally, like my mom's, like I have a picture somewhere, but it, it's really, it is disgusting. It is, mm -hmm. it's gross. Um, it looked like they took a a melon baller. It looked yeah. like they took that and like scraped the whole inside of it. It, it was it's gross. Exactly. And they did what's called a flap, and they cut from an inch up above her 
uh, forehead and cut all the way down to her eyebrows and over into her eyebrow and took a vein out of there and strung it down in her nose to redo the skin. Oh. And um, she's got another spot on her nose again. There's two spots on her nose and the, uh, one's over on the side of her cheek. Oh, bless her heart. And they're supposed to be going to Florida in a month for his brother and she's not happy. But yeah, it's been... Yeah. Good night, Tanya. Thanks for stopping in, hon. Oh, I'm going to be doing a, um, a Hangouts videos with Miss Tanya and um, Lisa next month. Aw. Yep. Debbie Bailey said her mom had surgery and they removed her cheeks and put skin from her butt on there. So when she kissed her, she told her she just wanted me to kiss her butt. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> um, I grew up with a kid who was ran over by a monster truck oh. and half of his head was ripped off. Well, the skin wouldn't grow back. They could not get it. And they tried skin from his thigh. They tried some from his shoulders and everywhere. They literally had to take it off from his butt. Oh. And I didn't remember it after, you know, years went by, you know, and we were goofing off one night. I was best friends with his <laughs> wife and we were chilling out and goofing off. And I was like, you freaking butthead. And then I was like, oh, shit. Like, oh, no. he, they all laughed, you know, like. He laughs about it, but yeah, it was, they, they didn't, he was only like five or six and they said he wasn't even going to make it and he did, but yeah, oh, it was, no. I was like, oh my God, open mouth, insert foot. Good night, Kathy. Have a good night. Good night, Kathy. And I cannot wait to hang out with you again. That I had a blast today. She is, she's so peppy and cheery. I loved it. I had a blast. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, definitely. Prayers for mom. Yeah. Do you want to show Pixie's thing? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, okay. So Shannon makes these things, you guys. And she had showed me one she made. And I had asked her if she could make me something for Pixie. And she had already started it, basically. So she had already had it in mind to do it. But this is awesome, you guys. And she will be doing custom orders, right? Uh, yes. So I... I clicked you, so you'll be coming up. Okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> so this is what they look like. This, uh, it's called a lithopane. I take a, a personal picture, a family portrait, any picture you want done, and then when you put it against light, you see the actual image come out. I don't know if you girls can see it. Yeah. Down. It's coming up. Can you see it? Yep. Because I can't see what they're seeing. There. Yep, okay. that right there. Yep, that's good. But so stinking cute. It makes it look like a black and white portrait. Like sepia tone. Yeah. I made her a bigger one, but I had to focus. I don't want to focus. <laughs> there, there it goes. goes. <laughs> yeah, my camera is wonky. But it's so cute. I made her this one first, but the top border messed up. But she's going to get it anyway. She can put it in a frame or something like that. But you just yeah. put a, a light behind them. And they're beautiful. Hi, Allison. Yeah, I yeah, had so... already talked to Vic about. I had stolen a picture of Pixie, but then I got to talking to Vic. And he's like, you better make sure that's the one she wants. So <laughs> I like, yeah, I better do that. Yeah, so when she messaged me later and asked um what picture would i like i gave her two pictures and this is the picture that she used so this was uh two two summers ago uh well mother's day actually mother's day will be two years that this was around mother's day so you can see how well that from this picture to what she made they're amazing you guys how it picks up the detail yeah yeah and um, you can do curved ones, right? Curved yeah. ones. Um, uh, yeah, I should have left my lights off. I could have showed you my dad. Let me switch you back. Yeah, I have it. Well, I got to turn on my lights off again. There you go. Yeah, that it. There was a toss up between that one and her derpy, derpy ear with her smile. <laughs> but so we went with that one. So basically, you use a LED light. There's an LED light that you can stick up behind it. 
and that's what shows um, how you get the this image. One, this is what a portrait would come out looking like. It it it's more than a negative, but less than a black and white. And that's on the curved one, right? Yeah, this is the curved one, which I'm I've got an idea to put these on bottles. And then oh. this one is beautiful. This is my favorite. Yeah. Love that owl. So yeah, so um pimping her out. <laughs> Custom yeah, orders. See how it pulls out all that detail out of something that looks like this. I mean, you can see it and you can see it has detail, but you have no idea what to expect until you put a light behind it. Yeah. In the the first one of Pixie that she did took it was 22 hours. So it it do, it's not something that gets done in just a couple of hours. It takes a yeah. long time. And you know the filament itself for the roll of this is like forty dollars, right? So you know they're they're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap either. Something like this right here it goes for twenty dollars. Yeah, but this is a lifetime, you know. And if you do a beautiful family portrait, it's amazing how it comes out. But it's really cool how it looks before you put the light with it. Yeah, like the owl one. I could really, I could make out the owl one when she, when she was showing me, I could make out the owl yeah. and then she, when she turned the light off, I was like, oh, wow. Like the detail is, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. crazy. And they're thin, they're really thin, but they come out beautiful. Yeah. And you can put them in, you know, frames, wh whatever you want to do. I can size them all different. They, they actually do. There's uh, files to do lampshades. And there's this one cityscape lampshade that's just beautiful. I have to make it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sherry, if you have pictures, I'm sure she could probably make you something. Oh, definitely. All you have to do is uh, email me the picture and I can put it in the program and work it up. <clears throat> I wasn't in chat, so I wasn't seeing it. Yeah, it's okay. I just seen it. Yeah. What do you charge? I'd love one of my yin yang on a bottle. Yin yang. Is, is yin yang an animal? <laughs> uh, yin yang is the Chinese symbol. Wait. Oh, wait. Is yin yang? yang oh, wait. Yin yang is, or I think it might be a pet. <laughs> uh, no, it it's done. It's done through a pro uh, a machine that they have. Her and her husband have. Yeah, it's a three D printer. There are That's videos on YouTube about it, but it's not something that you can just make. You have to have the 3D printer. You have to order the special filament. It's a program. It, yeah. There's a lot involved in it. And like she said, you know, it, it's for this size right here was 22 hours. And then it messed up on the last two hours. So this little border right here took two hours to make. Yeah, the it, it's it's insane. Oh, Yin Yang is her cat. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, definitely. Are you gonna? What do you mean you're gonna put them on the bottle? Like secure it to the bottle? Uh yeah. This oh, that, will fit. Let me put you back per perfectly Ugh. for a bottle. Oh, that's cool. You guys yeah. will see it in a second. It's coming up. Yeah. This yes, fits Wanda. Perfectly on the bottle. Yeah, so, it's gotta be. I'm thinking, I'm thinking air dry clay with it, like in a brick design or. Oh you know. yeah. You can make like a border, like a picture frame around it that it's inset inside. Exactly. That would be pretty. Yeah. With yes. the course lights. Yup. Yes. Wanda, it, it, it's gotta be a picture that's got, um, it's clear. It's not pixelated or fuzzy or you right. know, it's not um, distorted. Uh, a clean, clear picture works the best for the best of the results. Yes, the 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 better the picture, the better. Yeah, the better the quality of the picture. You want a good quality picture. Cherry's already waving at me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. But yeah, like, and then um. So yeah, I was like, oh, when she told me that she had already, she's like, I already stole the picture. <laughs> yeah, I did. I I picked one from one that you had posted. Of her, and then yeah, you know, Vic's like, look, this is going to be something that's you know going to be a memory for her. So make sure it's something that she likes. So I was like, oh, okay, I better ask her. 
Yeah. In um, Sabrina, when I met with Sabrina, oh, I put that on the wrong side. Dang it. <laughs> um, when I met with Sabrina, um, she had given me a gift bag with some stuff in it. And she had gotten it before anything was done with Pixie. And it's a tin can with Yorkies all over it. And it's got a coffee cup in it. Uh, with the Yorkie. So I'm actually when when we get our when I get my place where I feel like home, I have a corner cabinet and it's going to be my pixie spot. And my mom's gonna make a box so I can put all Pixie's special toys in it in her collar. And I'm actually gonna get a dog chain and I'm gonna start wearing her rabies shot and her dog tag and stuff. Uh, and then um I've got lockets of her hair. And then I made those one little glass bulbs and um, they're in our car right now, but I got her ashes back and it's, it's, they gave me, it, it's like an octagon shaped tin. It's really pretty. And it's in a velvet bag. You and it's sitting on me now. <laughs> huh? Oh, you still locked on me. <laughs> yep. But it's I'm in a, um, nothing. I'm just sitting here with my hands. It's folded. in a, it's in like a velvet blue bag, but this, this is her hair. I have, I, I cut oh. up two lockets of hair. Oh, bless Some her of her heart. dark and then her light. Yeah. It's so soft too. Like, but I'm doing better. I'm my my is I'm okay during the day and stuff. I have issues at nighttime. That's when it hits me is at bedtime. Mm -hmm. But you're yeah. so used to her being right there. Yeah. Yep. And like when the other day it was raining and I'm like, great, Pixie's gonna want me to take her out in the rain without even thinking about it, you know. Yep. And I was like, oh yep. man. For the first week, I kept going to Duke's room and putting food in his bowl. Yeah. Until I got out there and seen the bowl was full. You know, I'm like, oh. Yeah, and Kiki, like, <laughs> she, she, I think she, like, I've already done my share of, like, emotionalness. I have my moments, but Kiki yeah. cries every time I talk about her. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even want to think of the day I lose my Gigi. Yeah. Like, this is the first time I've ever lost a pet like that close to me. So it just, I have my moments, my mom, you know, and are you okay today? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Or she'll come down cause she has a key to my trailer. So she'll come down and I'll be sleeping and it'll be noon or one o'clock. And so she doesn't hear from me. So she was worried and I'm snuggled up on the couch with Pixie's blanket and her stuffed animal. And now, you're weaving that every one, right? In and out yep, every, one. every other one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Every other one. And then. Yeah. Yep. I just wanted to make sure because you do it so fast that the girls might think you're skipping. <laughs> I am holes. skipping every other one. <laughs> yeah. And like each, like it depends on the lace you're going to use. Each one's going to be different. So. And I'm sure if I use like a black, a black ribbon in this, you would probably possibly see the black, but. I don't know. You pull it so tight. The center yeah. is so small when you're done with it. Yep. And them yeah. gems are just the right size. It hides it. I agree, Allison. She had, Pixie had such an effect on everyone. She was like everyone's dog. Yeah. Well, she's been with me since I started my channel. And then like even getting into the crafts and stuff. I started it right before I got her. So it's just been. Yeah. Well, there are children. I mean, that's the way I, and they're my fur babies. Yeah. And then like my daughter, Lacey, <laughs> whenever she was coming from, for a visit and stuff after work or whatever, she'll come down and see me or come over for a weekend or a week. I would always call her Pixie and Pixie Lacey. I'm like, Lacey, will you stop? And I'm like, shit, Pixie. And then like Sunday, she, uh, Lacey showed up with her boyfriend and I called her Pixie without even, I'm like, Pixie, you can sit here. And I was like, shit. I was like, Lacey. Cause it was constant. I always, <laughs> I always uh, got them confused. And I don't know why, cause their names are not the same, but it, it was funny. She's like, I'm yelling at Pixie and I'm saying Lacey. And she's like, mom, I'm right here. And this is when I was in Pennsylvania. And she's like, mom, I'm right here. I'm like, not you. I was like, I was like, Pixie, dang it. <laughs> it was funny. That's a mama thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny. My mom used to call us by the wrong names all the time and we wouldn't answer her and she'd say, don't you hear me yelling for you? You didn't yell for me. You yelled for Sarah. <laughs> Not Sarah. <laughs> yep. she'd be yeah. Mad. Well, you know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Kiki got to meet 
Pixie, um, when we went and met <laughs> up with Kiki and Jada, Pixie gave her kisses. I can't oh, I got three more she actually left. laid on my table last night. She usually doesn't lay down. <laughs> that was cute. She was in a mood. Yeah. That was too cute. She was wanting lovin's. Usually she's kind of a loner little dog unless it's at night and then she's in bed with me, but usually she's doing her own thing. Yeah, she's not whenever underfoot dogs. Whenever I get on hangouts with Kiki, I use, there's usually a dog butt in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all done that. Went down the names like I'm the baby of 5. So it was it was Rick Tangle Scott Donna Londa and I she she get us eventually one of us whichever one. But we used to, my mom's friends they couldn't tell me and my sister apart. <laughs> so by the time that they finally figured out which twin was which, we would go change our clothes, <laughs> and then we got in trouble. <laughs> so then my my mom's one friends, they were like. I'm just going to say twin A and twin B and whichever one comes is the one who's getting it. Neither one of us be coming up then. We get in trouble for changing places. You're number seven out of 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm answering Sherry back. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Oh, I bet you do miss, miss her, Carrie. Sent me two of the cutest cat pictures ever. Aw. Katie and Tiger. Oh, but yeah, it, it, so like depending on the sizes that she does, it does take time to, um, to do those yeah. images. Yeah. Well, first I have to put them in the program and then switch them over. And yeah. the one, um, the smaller one of Pixie was, oh, what was that? Like 11 hours. I think that was like 11 that hours. Bad. Yeah, that, no, that's still, you know, an all day yeah. project. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody wants anything about anything, just, you know, get with me on Messenger and uh, we'll, we'll set something up. And just remember the clearer, the better. And it doesn't matter if it's color or black and white. Color is actually better because it shows me more detail. Uh, what's your email? We can put your email in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me answer Sherry back. I love how these turn out. These almost look like poinsettias. They almost look like poinsettias. Yeah. I bet <laughs> oh, you that's all right, Carrie. I bet you if you dyed them red, they would look just like poinsettias. Yeah. I think in my next, when I go pick up more, I'm going to see if I can get there tomorrow. I'll go pick up another couple spools if they have it. I think I have two spools of that. And I think <laughs> one of them's open, but I only use like maybe six hearts off of it. Yeah. Yeah, I was making my other flowers and then I sat down and did this. I was like, huh. <laughs> um. I used to get white poinsettia, uh, poinsettia plants. I've got my sunflowers germinating, my teddy bear sunflowers. I cannot wait. Oh, I'm putting in the wrong email. They're in the window in a Ziploc baggie. They're taped to the window in a Ziploc baggie with paper towel, a wet paper towel. And every night before bed, I dampen it. And they should start germinating in the next two days. And I, I saved some because I'm going to, I'm going to, well, well, once these ones start to germinate, I'm going to do more. And then I'm going to get some cups, flower pot cup type things to put them in. And I'm going to take some down to Mary. <laughs> She's going to have some teddy bear sunflowers. Shannon Naylor 0525 at gmail.com. If you guys are interested. Oh, yes, teddy bear sunflowers. They are adorable, Allison. Hang on. I got a picture on my Facebook because they're, they're, they're adorable. 
They look like big old puffed, oversized dandelions. That's what Kiki called it, a dandelion. This is a teddy bear sunflower. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm think, yeah. And they do seeds, so you get seeds, but they're they're not like the other sunflower seeds that you can get, you know. But um, I've never seen that flower before. That's gorgeous. Yep, and they don't get extremely tall. Um, they get between uh, two and a half to I would say four to five foot. It just depends on how how you have them where they're growing. Yeah, they are so cute. Good night, Susan. I hope you feel better. Loves and hugs, sweetheart. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Yeah, they're they're adorable. I love my favorite sunflowers. I love all sunflowers. I my whole kitchen was sunflowers at one point when I was married. But um I love the red velvet. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't know if I have the picture. Oh. I had um uh when I was in Pennsylvania, I had uh sunflowers that were velvet sunflowers. They were pretty. Let's see here. I probably can't find it. Yeah. Too far back on my list. <laughs> oh, nice. Welcome back, Miss Mary. Oh, that'll be cool, Cheryl. Yeah, I, I'm ready to garden. And here, for some reason, we, we have to ask permission to plant anything. And they have to come and survey the... the it's so stupid. They have to mark where your water lines are, the gas line and the phone line and all that crap just to freaking plant some flowers in a trailer park. Stupid. It's so dumb. So I, I'm not worrying about it. I got some flower pots and I'm going to plant my, my stuff in flower pots. Oh, yes. The, um, I had a sunflower like four years, three years ago, four years ago that it looked like the, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. It looked like the eclipse in the center of it. And it was, a oh, I, I want to try and find it now. Uh, it was like a burgundy. It was so pretty. I think I had it as my profile picture on Facebook. I'm going to look really quick. Oh, let's see. They're, yeah, I, I love sunflowers. I like the how they have just different, the different colors and stuff. Oh, let's see. <coughs> I don't remember if I had it as a profile picture or not. Uh, right here. Sorry, I'm here. I'm talking to Sherry, trying to figure out what she wants. <clears throat> She's going to make me put them on a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even tried yet, but I know it'll work. It'll so nice. work. <laughs> oh. I don't like that Facebook removed your um, mobile uploads album. Oh, really? Yep. You, you have to go to like slash elbow or what is it? Slash photo something or another just to get to it now. Yeah, it's stupid. So if you upload photos from your phone to your Facebook, the album's not going to be there. And the timeline photos aren't there either. Yep. I have a crap ton that I have to go through and save. Yeah, I was so pissed. Yeah, I don't know why they changed it. Oh, now I can't find it. Hmm. Oh, here's one of Oh, nope. I don't think it's in that. I don't think it's in this one. I just come across it the other day, too. Yeah. 
Matter of fact, when I was looking for Pixie's pictures, I come across it. Yeah, I'll have to find it and upload it again so I can find it. But yeah. I keep forgetting Sherry's not here. Oh, so Facebook, um, uh, when you upload fi pictures to your, um, oh, let's see, when you use your phone or whatever and you upload pictures to like your timeline, any photos that go on your timeline, they usually always show up, you know, on your timeline. Oh, see what I did at Hobby Lobby today? <laughs> <laughs> We sent you that crap. <laughs> I was laughing so bad. So, like, these pictures mm -hmm. I uploaded today of me here, those are not going to be in an album. So, if I click on see all photos, albums, there's, you got timeline photos, but, like, okay, on your phone, you can see these, but on the computer, they're not there. Like, I don't see none of that <laughs> stuff on the on the. Oh, there's Pixie. Oh. Um, none of that stuff shows up on the computer. The albums, they're they're gone. If you're on your phone, you can, and you can't take your pictures and move them to another album. You have to save them individually. It's stupid, and I have no idea why they're doing that either. Yeah, because that'll aggravate me because I'm always on Facebook on my computer and not my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Because I couldn't find some photos. And I was like, I know I uploaded them. And I was like, where's this album at? And I can get to it on my phone, but not the computer. So I have to, I had to save each one individually. <laughs> Pictures of Pixie when she got a haircut. She looked like a chihuahua. It's funny, whenever she got shaved, she looked like a chihuahua. Oh, let's see. Okay, we're almost to them pictures. Oh, let's see. I yeah, have this Chinese company trying to get me to review <laughs> Apple Watch bands. Oh, look at her. <laughs> That's a bad case of the bedhead. <laughs> yeah, that's why my calls are a well groomed muskrat. <laughs> yep. I always I ought to send that one to Mike. Be like, uh -huh. there's your muskrat. That's kind of like a what look. Yeah. I'm having one of those days. Do you mind? <laughs> right, there's my all time favorite sunflower. Oh, and I, I took the other one. I took that picture first. And I don't know what happened with my flash, but my flash messed up on my phone. Huh. Yeah. But, yep. That's my favorite. It looked like the eclipse. Yeah. It does, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My friend, uh, one of my friends just had a, um, uh, his computer hacked. Uh, his, he went to a tech center to get, um, McAfee, a virus program or whatever on his computer. Um, or McAfee, what is it? McAfee? Yeah. And, yeah. um, uh, something was up with his computer. So he called the number that he was given for the tech support. Well, it wasn't a legit tech support number. Uh -huh. And he two he called, a, he had it done two months ago and he called them a week ago to fix something because something was messed up. Well, he woke up today to his savings account and checking account, and the savings was 20 years old. Worth the, He has been saving money for 20 years, and everything was drawn. No, no money. He has nothing. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I pretty much knew it was a scam, especially by the way it was worded. I'm like, really? I don't even own an Apple Watch, so how am I going to review the Apple Watch band? That's one sunflower plant. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it was taller than our house. Holy cow. Yeah, I when I grow them, I grow them. <laughs> yep. 
I love gardening. I do too, but I've been lazy this year. I haven't even started one thing. Oh my gosh. Yep. My mother used to always grow sunflowers. When I was married, we had them. Um, our driveway was 950 foot long. And I started from one end all the way up to just where we usually parked our cars and stuff. Nothing but sunflowers on both sides. And it helped cut back on the um, the dust from the driveway. Yeah. So that was nice. Jack's, Jack's beanstalk, exactly. Yeah. It, I don't. I, somewhere I have the picture off from a like a old fashioned camera. Um, I had a sunflower. the The face of it, the seed area was like huge, and petals grew out of the center. And there was one. It looked like a smiley face in the middle because the two, one eye, basically where the eyes were, the petals grew out and kind of angled like eyebrows. And then there was like three petals that grew cockeyed where a smile would be. It was crazy. Uh -huh. I have a picture of it somewhere. It's one when I was married. It happened like that. Yeah. I, I love gardening. Yeah. I, I shoot. Yeah. There's a lot of scams going on. Yeah. And anybody in here that likes to like pass on those chain things and the messages and stuff. I am happy that you guys thought of me to send me something. But please don't because a lot of those are how people get hacked. Exactly. And even if you don't click on the link to stop, it can still get you like don't I hate I get the same thing like 20 times a day because everybody's sending it. And I love that people think of me to send that. But oh, please don't send me chain things like that or, you know, oh no, because that's how viruses get. That's how it starts. It bugs me. Yeah, it's crazy. And they've got a new one coming out now that uh, my mom's been getting it. This guy calls and says, we're calling about your employment status that you questioned about. She's like, um, I've been retired for over a year, so I haven't inquired about no employment. And then they hang up. Well, they called back Monday when I was she was driving and I answered her phone. And they called back and I was like, listen here, I've been retired for over a year. I ain't asking for no no employment anywhere. And you better stop calling my up and number. And he says, well, we have. And I was like, well, I'm glad you have that, but you ain't got this. And I said, stop calling me. And I hung up. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I just deleted it. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, and watch how you answer the phone, too, on some things. Because all they need is, like, a yes, okay, <laughs> a no, hello, certain keywords. And that's yeah. all they need. And they, they record it. And then they can pretty much do anything. My phone's set up to tell me if it's, it'll say likely scam. Mm -hmm. so I just don't answer it. And then I block it. Yep. But that came through my Gmail. And they got that from my YouTube channel. Yeah. That's why I have a different Gmail for my YouTube. Yeah. That's pretty much all I use the Gmail for is YouTube. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And be careful on like, you know how Facebook has those little things, you know, like what's your favorite color, what size, you know, yeah. Uh, what's your favorite animal? Uh, like the security, like questions that basically is just a bunch of get to know you questions and be careful answering those because scammers use those also. Yeah. And those apps, you know, like um, the Oh My God app or the what what is it called? What's the other one? There's another one where, you know, you input like uh, where you should live and it gives you options on things that also those things right there. All that is, is just somebody using a way to be able to get information about you. Oh, I quit doing those things because. Yeah, I don't need no nasty people up in my shit. Yeah, I never did them. I don't need to know what I look like when I was, when I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> I, <like> <laughs> yeah, I hate <laughs> when people send me those all the time, Mary. It's constant. And 
it's the same people every time. And I, I don't know how many times I have to ask them to please stop, but it, they still don't. And I'm just going to start deleting people because it's, yeah. it's rude. Oh, well, I did that with the political po posts. You know, everybody has their opinion, but not everybody's yeah. the same. And I go to Facebook for friends and family. I don't go there for politics. Right. So, yeah. And I had put a post up. I love you all. But if you keep posting political stuff, I'm going to delete you. Yeah. I want to see happy. I don't want to see <laughs> right miserable and hate. Yeah. I've left channels because of hate. Yep. Yeah, it's... I I don't I don't do the get into the political with people and stuff. I just, you know, we each have our own views and I don't think, you know, I have yeah. my opinion and that's where it needs to be yeah. and yeah, I'm not going to everybody's anybody. different, you know, and yeah. I'm not going to judge somebody just because they have a different feeling <laughs> on something. I don't care. I don't believe you, Kiki. We're on the same vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, funny. I just, I would even, even if it's, <laughs> you know, political for the person that I voted for and it's for them, yeah. I, I still don't want to see it. Uh, yeah. I just want to see friends and family and crafting and, you know, yeah. I like to be a nice person. I don't want to be a negative Nelly. Yeah. We don't need no negative Nancy's going on. Mm -hmm. I always say negative Nelly. I don't know. Yeah, why. I think Nelly sounds better because I don't know no Nellies and I know some Nancy's. So yeah. <laughs> we're just going to start saying negative Nelly too. I can't believe I've only got one more left to do. <laughs> oh, I do. Mary. <laughs> Mary, don't get tough with me now. Mary, what I do is I just hide them from whoever you posted them from. I just hide it. I still have you on there, but I, I do. You're like one of the few I haven't deleted and I just hide them. I'm like, I, I couldn't delete Mary, so I just hide them. <laughs> I went to school with somebody named Nelly. Then, then you know, people with them stupid nicknames, they would they would make fun of her because Nellie Olson, you know. It, that's what I was saying. I think Little House on the Prairie every time I hear Nellie. Yeah. I want to binge watch Little House on the Prairie so bad, but my emotions will get the best of me. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've cried on every Little House on the Prairie episode I've ever watched. It don't matter what it is. I've cried on every episode. And Golden Girls. Like, I like the Golden Girls, too. Oh. Uh. That's Mary's middle name. I know. That's, yep. Mary. Well, is it Nellie or is it Nell? I'm going to start calling Mary Nell. <laughs> middle name's a pretty old middle name, too. I'm named after my grandmother, and it's funny because nobody ever can figure out my middle name because I always like, I'm, I have, it's a movie star has my name. Ellis, anyway, Nellie was my grandmother's Aww. name. Aw, yeah. See, yeah. I think it's a pretty name. I always think of uh, Little House on the Prayer whenever I hear Nellie. That is why I never complain about commercials because my mother got my name from a commercial. I have a sister named Tango. <laughs> T A N G O. They're I back in the day. Paulina. Was... <laughs> what? My mother was going to name me Pauline Estella. Uh, right my middle. My my middle name is Estelle. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I ended up with Pauline, crazy. but not Estella. <laughs> that is crazy. My my step grandma's name is Pauline. Isn't that crazy? And our daughters have almost the same names. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's so funny. Like um, my mom, you, there was a soap opera on back in the day, and when she, the lady was a blonde, and her name was Tango. In the soap opera, and that's what my mom named my older sister. Her name's Tango. Oh, I, I love Shannon. I will never, I never complain about my name. I'm just happy I got Shannon Pauline and not Pauline Estella. Oh, that's, so that's kind of like you know, bringing the cow out of the field. Yep, mom yeah, said she's gonna call me Essie for short. I'm like, oh, sure. 
Let's oh. just call the cow out of the field. <laughs> she heard it was on the commercial for the C and say, you know, and you're talking 1971. And the mother went out the front door and yelled, Shannon, it's time to come in. And the little girl's out in the yard playing with the C and say. <laughs> mom was like, that's what I'm going to name her. Thank God. My my oldest daughter, her name is Tori Jean, T-O-R-I-J-E-A-N. It's one word. And it was going to be Daniela Sell. And then like two days before I had her, I was like, no, I'm changing her name. And Jean is my mom's middle name, my other sister's middle name, which it had nothing to do with my sister, but basically named after my mom and my stepmom. And Valerie has the same middle name. But, yeah. I was going to name my daughter Kayla Brianne and call her Bree. And when she was born, she did not look like a Kayla Brianne. I looked at my mom and I said, we're going to have to come up with something different because that's not a Kayla Brianne. <laughs> I know. Isn't that weird? Like, you just, like, you know that, like, that's no. It wasn't her name. And it I sat there for a couple hours by myself, and then I decided to name her Victoria Sue uh, because I had a feeling I wouldn't have any more babies. And yeah. Victor, his name being Victor, I, that's where I took Victoria from, and Sue was his mom's middle name. Oh. Like, and then uh, Peyton got my mother's middle name, Diane. Oh, that's my, my, my grandma's middle name. Or my aunt, not grandma. Does uh, she my spell it with no E? Two, D I A N. Yeah, Donna Diane. My sister's middle name is Diane. D I A N. Donna Diane, and mine's Londa Stell. <laughs> well, they they told my mom you're gonna have an eight pound baby boy, and so my mom had Fenton Heath picked out for the name. Well, my sister was born, and then they're like, "Oh, it's a girl," you know, and she was three pounds ten ounces, and then they're like, within seconds, they're calling more doctors in. And my mom's like, what's wrong with my baby? And they're like, nothing. And my mom's like, what's wrong? Because they're calling more doctors in. Well, the one doctor had to run for a different emergency. So I'm hanging out there for 17 more minutes waiting to come out. Because they're not they're trying to make her wait for the doctor to come back. And out come me. And my grandma's like, put it back. She can't have no more. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So two girls. Thank God I didn't get. I was like, mom, if we. And I ask her, I'm like, mom, how do you know I'm not supposed to be Donna and she's not supposed to be me? How do you know, like, we didn't get switched somehow? Exactly. She's like, that's not even funny. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's serious. Like, but I was uh, twin baby B, which was me, was born with an extra uh, skin on their earlobe. So that's how we knew who I was. But <laughs> like, she, she, yeah, she would get pissed whenever I would make them comments. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. And Lacey, my, um, okay, Mary, uh, Lacey, my middle one, um, I, I knew I was having a girl. I just knew I was, but his sister was like, well, why don't you name her, um, Lydia after some family member? And I looked at him and I'm like, no. And he says all the names that that child would be picked on, Clydia. Yep. Look, it's Lydia, Clydia, or Clydia, Lily, Lydia, and I was like, "No, my not, -uh, not happening." I was like, "Sorry, but no." And I don't even think it matters what name kids have. Kids are cruel, and they find any yeah anything, any little thing to pick on another child about. Yeah, and then my um, uh, so I was like, "No, we're not." And he he goes, "Well, why didn't you name April that?" And she's like, "Well, we didn't know we were having a girl." And he's like, "Um, you knew after she came out." Like, why didn't you name her that? But Lacey, I picked Lacey. I don't know. It just, it, that's what said, that's what the name said. That's like, well, that's what called me was Lacey. And I spelled L-A-C-I-E. And then her middle name is Michelle, but it's spelled like Michael with two L's. So it's after uh, her dad. Yeah. And then my son, his name is Hunter Dale. Dale after his grandpa, which he passed away. And then Hunter because my ex-husband and his dad and everybody in the family hunted. So he right. got Hunter Dale. So, but if, if Hunter would have been a girl, her name was going to be Dale Lynn Bell. And I was going to call her daily for short. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And somebody in the family was like, 
you can't name no girl Dale. And his dad stands up and says, well, why the hell can't she? <laughs> Allison asked what your real name was. My I real name is Liddy, um, Liddy. <laughs> My real name is Londa. <laughs> I know, right, Kiki? Like, people would come up with the worst names. Yeah, L-O-N-D-A. Yes, yep. Hunter can be a boy or a girl. Yeah. Yep. But, the, like, um, and it's funny because his, my ex-husband's sister's ex-mother-in-law's name is Dale. So, but it's spelled different than D-A-L-E. But, yeah. Well, them are all done. I'm going to see if I can't make one out of this batch here. Yeah. Well, come here if you want to come see me. What are you doing? You got to kick you out of bed. Good night, um, Sherry. Thanks for hanging out, sweetheart. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I used Tori. I was going to name her Danielle Estelle, and then just all of a sudden I was like, no, name change. I hate my name because I don't, I can't ever get keychains made. I can't get those, uh, anything like I have to specifically order, specially order my name stuff because nobody has things with the name Londa on it. And then, um, when, where was I? Oh, when I first joined Facebook, I got invited to a group. It's called the Londa club. And there's only Londas in this club. And there's like 300 and some of us with the name Londa. <laughs> And we all type in there. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> I only I've only met um my namesake, which is uh my aunt, uh, well like a friend of the family, like an aunt, and then um my doctor, my uh, family doctor who delivered my kids. His mom's name was Londa, so that was kind of weird, different, but. Oh, I could have made. Oh, I could have made it with just six. Well, slap my ass and call me Spanky. Oh, I'm oh getting no. Well, yeah, now you know. Yep. Now I can make different ones too. Yeah, uh -huh. I get even more out of it now. Yep. <laughs> How many were you able to get? Eleven. Yeah, I got eleven. So if I took, there's there's nine in each one. So there's. You'll get 10 extra if you do six. Got, um, yeah. Damn. Well, actually, yep. you'll get 11 extra because yeah. you got that one there. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and the other ones of these I do, like, I guess it just depends on, like, the, the, the stuff. Each yes, one's different. Yeah. That's funny. Ah, uh, did I do it backwards? Yep. Oh, well. Oh, wait. We can't go that way. We gotta go this way. Don't do mathing this late at night. <laughs> right, Kiki? <laughs> I know. The one thing I'm actually decent at is math. Uh, it's too late for math. Ouch. You would actually get 11 extras and then you would have enough left over to do one big one. You would have nine pieces. Nice. As long as all the, the ribbon is the same. Right. Come on. Yeah. And, uh, so technically all that I had left of this was like half of a heart because that's what um, it ended. Like the beginning of the spool was like a half of a heart. Yep. So... But they look different. They don't look the same. Yeah. They look different. It's still cute. Yeah, it looks like a star. Yeah. It's still, it's super still cute, really though. cute. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Cute. And I tried it before with six, but it just didn't look right. Probably just because I was... I still had all the ribbon connected when I was trying it, but... Yeah. The only difference, like right here, it's missing a couple of the little fuzzies on the end, but that's okay. Yep. I'm so cute. That's easy to camouflage if you're using more than one flower. Yeah, you can overlap it. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, that definitely is cute. Like that. You wouldn't even have to, even if you put it on top of the big flower, it would still camouflage in. Yep. 
Yeah. 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 Um, I used to make these and make hair clips. I would uh, take a piece of felt and I would make a little circle felt and then glue it to the back. And then I would add a clip or um, what's the other, a hair clips or something. And then you open up the barrette or whatever and stick it down there and put another piece of um, felt over it and you make barrettes out of them. How pretty would those be for like little the uh, girl wedding headbands or something? Or even um, with a, like a car real carnations or something pinned with them, you know, a little. Oh, yeah. Like roses oh, yeah. Of course. Like yeah. 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 Yep. Some baby's breath and some small little bud roses would be beautiful with those. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. I could take the one that I don't, I don't think I kept. Oh, yes, I did keep it. It's right here. Yeah. This is all that was the, this is what's left out of that whole roll. <laughs> Where's that one? I don't know. I think I have green. Let me go get it. Bailey said, take the half one that started the roll and spray it green and put it in the space to make a leaf. Yeah, I'm going to try that with that right there. That's all that I have left is that little bits. I got green spray somewhere. I'm not sure what color green. Oh, it's oh I have tattered tattered angels. That's what I have. Oh, I think it's tattered angels. Yeah, tattered shimmer, glimmer mist, or whatever that shit's called. I just finally broke down and bought me some uh, dilutions sprays. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like everybody's raving about them. So I've only got uh, Matt got me, um, like I have black, white, red purple, blue, or like the aqua color, orange. And I think that's it. I think I only got like four colors and then two of them I got double color because they were on sale. Oh, nice. I've okay, now I need to use my heat gun really quick on this. So I'm going to move it away from the camera so I can pick it up. Yellow, blue, red, and purple. Oh, oh. and None yeah, I think it's, it might be teal. yellow, but it looks orange to me. Oh, it's a, it's a, actually, a, I got a teal too. Huh. Yep, I got oh, the teal one. Know. What is that purple different? Hmm. That didn't take long to dry. Okay. Crushed grape. Okay, so there, oh, that's pretty too. Oh, I totally lied. I have six. I have the uh, teal, vibrant turquoise. I mean, and then that limey green. There, there, there. That's what the leaf would look like. Mm. If I made it like a leaf, I could trim I it. It would be better if you trim that edge off. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cute. Now there ain't nothing. This is all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> no waste. Nope. Ouch. Hate waste. Yeah. Certain um, things, I don't mind it, but most of the time I get aggravated if I have to throw something away. So I got this at the thrift store. I'm going to turn my, heat, my uh, glue gun off. When I was at the thrift store the other day, I picked this up. It's a vest or like a blazer jacket. Oh, that's beautiful. Raise my thing up here. Look at the colors. I'm going to uh, use it to make boho beads. Oh, yeah. They're going to be pretty. Definitely. Look at the array of color. My goodness. Yeah. It's bright. Is it? It's not a vest. It's an actual jacket, right? Yeah, it's like a blazer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And everything with like the tan lining. I think. I, where did I get this at? Um, it's like silk. Yeah. Yeah. Silk or rayon? I think it's silk. Polyester, spandex. 
Dry clean only. Oh, it's USA made. Woo woo. Woo woo. That's rare. I don't know. It feels it feels like silk. And Kiki says she wishes it was my her size. I know. She's like, why wear it? I'm like, oh, it's too small for me. Mary said she'd wear it. I would too, but it's it's only a size medium. So, but yeah, I'm gonna use it to make boho beads. And I also have this one. The girls are like, no. <laughs> this one I got all, when I worked at Goodwill. I got this at Goodwill. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh my I, god. I only paid. I it was a half off. I got half off of four forty nine. That would make such an awesome Oriental themed journal. Yeah. Oh. I, I just haven't cut it up yet. Like I haven't gotten the balls to cut it up yet. Yeah. It's it's hand done. It's not um. That is beautiful. It's not factory made or nothing. Like this is hand done. Oh, yeah. I don't even think I'd cut it. I think I'd pull them seams. I know. I'm like, <sighs> that's gorgeous. You got a seam ripper, right? Oh yeah, I just run a seam ripper up it. Yeah. Yep. Man, that's pretty. Is that actual quilting on the front? It's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hand quilt. Yeah, it's a uh, long arm or whatever, you know, quilted. Wow. Yep. Free motion quilt. Or free motion stitches. Yeah. All up down the the top. I'll see in that pocket. pocket would make a perfect tuck spot. Yeah. Yeah. And on the cuffs. Like it's reversible. Yeah, I like the inside. Yeah, this is really pretty. I just haven't gotten the balls to cut it up. I was gonna throw it in the auction, then I forgot about it. But yep. That's gorgeous. It's it's pretty. Mary would wear that too. <laughs> yeah. Allison said I wouldn't cut that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't yet either. I was like, Ugh. it's one of those struggles. And then I found some more eyelash trim. Because, you know, Spanky ain't got enough eyelash trim, but I got purple now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I have a lot believe of the price on that eyelash trim. I, I buy it at the thrift stores. I get it for a dollar at the thrift store. Our thrift store, they had an entire room of nothing but, like, vintage craft stuff. I mean, I'm talking vintage buttons, Rick Rack, everything. Oh, wow. I didn't go for, like, a month, and I went back. And the oh, whole you, room was cleared out and it was all furniture. That's right. You were telling me about that. I'd yeah. be pissed. And they put it all in the dumpster. And that's I was insane. I was gonna go out to the dumpster because I was like, how long ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dumpster diving. Yeah. But it was gone. Yeah, it's definitely um uh Chinese or a Japanese or uh, oriental. It's oriental or something, but yeah. I don't remember. The lady who brought it in was Oriental. I and, think that's Japanese, not Chinese. Yeah. Um, I, she was Asian or, you know, I don't know what her nationality was, but she was definitely Oriental. And um, the pants sold before I could get the pants. Cool. But, um, it was a whole outfit. And she, she hand-stitched. There was, like, tons of stuff. But um, they ended up sending the rest of it out to um, Shop Goodwill. So. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of pissed about that, but yeah. What can so I'm going to save those. Yeah, now all those are done. Now I will package them up and those will be ready for the auction. <laughs> now you only have 100 more paper ones to do, right? Oh, God. 740 of, let's see. I have. 740 of these ones to go that are I still got to uh, finish and make different colors and then I have a lot of these ones <laughs> a lot it's over a thousand of them that I punched out yeah. <laughs> and then I have a lot of these ones which these are like the other book page ones they just got different centers yeah so there's 30, there's it's like 30, I think I have 30 sets of four. So there's 120 sets and then, yeah, it's a lot. Just, it's a lot. <laughs> hey, whatever works though. Whatever yeah. And occupied. Yeah. And these actually have been helping me keep my mind off from things. So I've been just a, 
a flower making machine lately. Cheryl says 7.40 to go, my world. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they're all cut out. Like, all I have to do now is put them together, basically. Um, I They were all over my table right here, so I had to uh, put them in a tray. But, um, oh, here's some roses. Whoops, that one got a bent petal. Um, I also made some roses. So there might be some roses in the auction. And then... Love that blue. I know, right? And then I have these that I did. I might mm -hmm. make some more of these to put in there. They're so sparkly. Yeah. And these are the other colors that I have to finish yet. So they're all... Those are some of the ones I have to finish yet. That's fixed. Say, don't pick that up. You're fixing to have a boo -boo. So all those are cut and ready to go. I just have to distress them and stamp them. Each each petal is stamped. So each set of petals are stamped. So yep. It keeps me occupied and spanking you're the flower queen ale. I know. <laughs> I should have been born in the 60s because I'm a flower child, I tell you. <coughs> But yeah, I want to open up an Etsy shop with my flowers. You should. you should. Ouch. Aside from the auction stuff. After the auction. So. <laughs> They'll sell. Even if even if you put them on the D-Stash groups, too. Yeah. They'll sell. Oh, yeah. Allison got weeks. some, too. Yeah, Sabrina did. I think Cheryl got some. Um, And then, oh, I, I'll be making some of the smaller ones, too. Like I did before. I it, but you already owed I already owed you a kidney, so I know well, yeah. Now we, we can I won't take your hands. You need your hands. <laughs> I need my hands. So let me see if I got the one in here. I don't know if I put it back in here. I don't think I did. Cheryl oh, said yes. If you guys didn't see these are miniature roses that I did. And I I might I don't know if I'll do go. I might not do them this size because it did. It didn't take me that long. No, but they're it's tedious. Uh huh. So I may make them in this size, but um, that's very small. Very small. It's not even a quarter of an inch. And then I got that little one there. But yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna be making that. And Kiki's been making. Kiki's making some too, and she's actually making miniature sunflowers. Also, man, yep, that's what we do. We stay up late at night and play <laughs> <laughs> when we should be sleeping. Uh huh. <laughs> I do too. That's the best time just, to work. Yeah, and I. I haven't been, I don't sleep good anyways, usually, but it's been really rough the past couple weeks now, but yeah, but yeah, it's just, it takes my mind off from stuff. Yep. It's just so quiet here. Yeah. I like to work at night. Yep. And I have the baby during the day, so she keeps me occupied. Yeah. And I got the paper beads I'm making and I'm going to try and make some sock monkeys for the auction for the next auction. Oh, those will be cute. Yeah. And then I'm going to make some more zipper pouches and tool caddy things. Need to make some more tassels, too, because the girls love your tassels. Oh, I know. Yeah, I need to get, yeah, I need to make some more of those. Because I haven't, I haven't made none since last year when I did them. Yeah. <laughs> and your beads. The beads sold really well. Yeah, yeah. I've still got, I've got, I never even put the ones in because I, I couldn't remember where I stuck them, but. Yeah, I'm going to make up some more of these beads, the paper beads that I did like this. Uh, Kiki said Christmas stuff, too. Yeah, Christmas in July. July 13th is going to be um, the next auction. It's going to be Christmas in July, so we're going to have Christmas items. So, I yeah, I have all these. Ask about your tool caddies. Hmm? Who, were you, who were you asking, Allison, me or Spanky, about tool caddies? Oh, Allison. Oh, her, her so yeah my yeah. soul yeah the tool caddies yeah oh yeah you were what was it there was something else oh i was going to make up some uh i was gonna ooh, almost dumped that 
I was going to put some of these together to sell, but I have to wait until I get an electric oven because they don't melt very good in my toaster oven I have, and I don't know how well they will melt in my gas oven. So I got the I got a shit ton of beads to do it, but I just don't have the oven to do it. Well, um, just try a small batch in the gas oven. Oh, that's, yeah, I could do that. But I cook yeah. in my oven, and I just don't know if this... Because be before I had yeah. the electric oven did it, but we had a fan in the window and the fan on the stove and just it was really ventilated. Yeah. So it's not that ventilated. So, but yeah, these are the other beads I, I was making too before, but I forgot to put them in the auction. Ugh. Well, you have them for the next one. Yeah, I love making the paper beads. They sell these at Hobby Lobby, you guys. Good night, Janice. Good night, Janice. Thanks for hanging, sweetheart. Yeah, I'll have more tool caddies, and I'm going to, um, I'll have some zipper pouches, and um, I'm going to put together some tote bags, like the one I made Miss Cheryl, uh, without the pocket on the outside, though. And I don't, well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but first I have to get my new sewing machine, because my mom's going to want hers back pretty soon. Did you say you wanted to... Uh, um both you and Mary a pink paintbrush holder? Um, yellow, if you had a yellow one for um, Mary. Don't. But I, if, if I did, the yellow I have is like, I don't know if you can see this. It's a bright yellow. Oh, hold on. Let me hold, color. We'll hold it up there and you can ask me. Oh my God, it's a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> it's for Peyton. <laughs> That's so cute. Paper prints are crap all the time. Is that a good yellow for you, Mary? Because Mary said, uh, what was it? I don't remember what all she said, but yellow, yeah. She said yellow unless you had something else, then she'll take something else, but yeah. Yeah, I have yellow, and the pink is beautiful, Mary. It's like a pearl, kind of. The pink is really pretty. I do know how to make gift bags. Oh, they can't see me, Spanky. <laughs> yes, they can. It's on there. Mm. You're on there. I'm no, I'm looking on YouTube and I only see you. I'm on YouTube and you're up there. Oh, there it goes. It switched. It just switched. That's <laughs> oh, all wow, far that's, behind. Wow, you are behind. Yeah. So that's gonna be my and I'm gonna put a flip uh less flamingo on there with some flamingos oh, she on that likes pink. Yellow. Oh, yeah, she, she likes the yellow. Too. Yeah, she likes I love the pink. pink. Well, tell Shannon which color you want for yours like this, Mary. That's what it's gonna be, is one of those. So tell her which color you want, the pink or the yellow. I'm trying to think of where coral. I put. Hmm. Oh, this is actually pink, not coral. It's like a really bright pink. Yeah, the lighting's different. It's, yeah. a, it's a really pretty pink. It's like a pearl pinky. It's yeah, pretty. it almost looks pearlescent. Yeah. I just see these decorated, you know, with some gems. Maybe a decoupage picture on the front here. Some yep. flowers. Yeah. 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 Victor made her two little turtles. <laughs> <laughs> He's made her octopuses and everything. This is how That's her teeth are so colors, all different colors. <laughs> well, I'll get Mary. So. Oh, okay, Allison. Yeah, I need to make another one. Um, I have I'm not gonna do button arts for the next auction. Because I was kind of sad that they didn't go for is what I was hoping what they would go for. Um, with what the time amount of time and stuff that I put into them. But yeah, I'll, I'll make you, I'll get you, um, I'll get with you and get a rooster one done up. I did make you, a Mary a hen. Did you see my Patron bottle? I did my last one. Oh, no, no, I didn't see it finished. It Remember you were pouring the pink in it and you had that issue oh. with the pink. Well, it come out super cool. Ooh. Isn't it beautiful? I love I that. It's in the auction now. <laughs> it come out beautiful. It has legs on it. Oh, I love that. And these are actually um, bead spacers I put on with, with uh, flathead pins. Oh, those are cute. Oh, that'll so work. So cute. I love that. I do too. That is gorgeous. I don't know if I want to put it in the auction. I like it so much, though. 
I already got rid of my mermaid bottle. I'm yeah. Another one of those. <laughs> uh, that turned out really good, though. Kind of shed a tear packing that mermaid bottle up. This I bet. I'm not going to lie. I was like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Cheryl, I bet she would. <laughs> I'm also making um, foil flowers um, for mixed media stuff. I'll be having some of those, too, but that bottle is gorgeous. I love it. I won't keep it, though. All it'll do is sit here and collect dust in the room. Oh my God. I got to make, I got to finish someone a zipper pouch for my mom. She had me, she had this bag. It's got like, um, uh, anchors and stuff on the outside. It's like a, it was like a canvas, uh, upholstery type bag. And then she wanted different fabric on the inside because I had that nylon crappy stuff. Well then she's like, I want a, a zipper pocket on the outside to go on the inside. And I'm like, Oh my God. So I had to take the lining out of this bag. <laughs> and the inside was like a rubber. It it was like, oh, it was so gross. It was like sh soles, like the soles of your shoe, you know, when the that cloth comes off, it's like that rubbery. Oh, yeah. That's what it felt like. Oh, I can't, oh, it's oh. a texture thing. I had a hard time touching it. So then, and the, when whoever made the bag, they didn't do a very good job because the zipper was sewn in with the lining and it wasn't very stitched very well. So then I had to sew the zipper all the way around it and then take the lining off. And then I had to make a new lining out of this fabric here. Oh my God, it was such a pain in the ass. And there's big old like um, grommets on each side because the rope handle went through them. So I had to do that. And then I like the bag, I had to literally like cut a slit, make my pocket part. Sew it, flip it inside. Oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass, but it worked. I got it done. Now I got to use this to make her a zipper pouch. I can't sew other than maybe like you know a little paper tag or something like that. I get so frustrated and I just want to throw stuff. Yeah, I oh I love sewing. It's my favorite thing. I'm one gonna get things. one quilt at a time put together and get with Mary <laughs> and let Mary finish them at my mom's quilts. <laughs> yeah. There's I, uh, no way I could do it justice. I know that. I hand sewed 15 quilts one year for Christmas presents. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Nope. I don't know where my ruler is. I'm more of a construct things, like the bottles and... Right. Making trinket boxes out of Pringles cans. That's me. <laughs> I've tried that. I never got... it. I, I couldn't get it to work. Oh, really? I've got yeah. a couple of beautiful ones in the closet. They're boxed up to go to somebody, and I have yet to ship them out. Oh, that's funny. I got a pink pink colored one, you know, like shabby chic looking, and then yeah. a, um, kind of a, a gypsy one, but it's more earth tones. Oh, pretty. And I actually made flowers like you have there, but out of regular lace. Oh, nice. Like this? Yeah. I'm working on now. Yep. Exactly, the ribbon just like that, but in browns and creams. So oh, pretty. Yeah, they come out really cute. So, yeah, if you use regular lace and needle and thread, it's basically the same concept as you doing the other one I did on them. Yep. Just make a running stitch in and out, in and out. You don't want it too, you know, too close together because you want it to gather. Um. Cheryl, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of altered bottles and uh, somebody, actually my first one I watched was a reverse decoupage. I started watching decoupage videos on bottles and I was like, oh, I can do that. And then uh, somebody had did texture on a bottle and I was like, oh, I could so tweak that and do something different. And that's when I really got into doing bottles. And it just went from there. I quit doing them for a long time because I got so burned out. Yeah. I mean, I was selling bottles like crazy and I just quit. I was like, I can't make another one. I can't do it. Right. That's why I like that I I'm I switched my, like what I do, I switch up because I'll get bored. I'm like, yeah. I'll get too burned out doing the same thing. Well, I had so many orders back to back. I couldn't. 
yeah. switch up, you know, and it was a lot of the same thing. Every time I posted a new bottle on Busy Bee, you know, somebody wanted it and it wasn't just one person. It was 20 people. So I'm making 20 of the same bottle. Right. And that's when I finally started saying, OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a bottle and I'm going to sell that bottle as a one time only thing. Cannot do be du duplicated. Right. So you that's one of a kind. Doing. Yeah. Well, it's like with my purses and my zipper pouches, you know, even though I can go from a pattern or whatever, most of it's just my ideas. Like I, I can look at stuff and I'll be like, oh, I can make that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad habit. I call it a bad habit because yeah. I know that I won't buy something if I know I can make it. Exactly. I'm going to try and get more into the 3D printing stuff and uh, go from there. Because if it goes, takes off like I think it's going to take off, I'm definitely going to buy another machine. Right. No, yeah, you definitely have to, though. Yeah. To keep up with it. Well, that way I can have two panels. I may even buy two more machines, you know. Yeah. Because I can even print the boxes, the light boxes, and you put the uh, little night light with the cord that plugs into the wall with the little switch. Oh, yeah. I can even make those. I can even 3 print, 3D print them. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. That's, I'm going to make like, one for the auction. And like see nightlight, how uh, nightlight covers. Yeah. Well, like yours and the curved ones are actually for nightlights. Mm -hmm. And I can get them from the Dollar Tree. And there's a little bracket that you print off that it sticks, slides into. Right. And then puts over top of the, uh, where the light bulb screws in. And then you screw the light bulb in and it holds it perfectly there in front of the nightlight. Oh, nice. So, yeah, which is cool for like the kitchen or, you know, somewhere like your vanity or something where you have an outlet. Yep. <clears throat> bathroom. Yeah, that'd be cute. Yeah. But there's all kinds of stands and stuff, but there's a, a one gothic uh, four sided cube that's just gorgeous. I want to make so bad. Oh, nice. I learned how to do these lace flowers and stuff from a, a lady who I used to babysit for when I lived with my grandmother when I was like 15, 14, 15. Yeah. We used to make, uh, I used to make barrettes for her little girl <laughs> out of flowers. Come on, get hot. Oh, you unplugged it, didn't you? Nope. I just turned it off. This is one Kiki got me has an on and off switch. Oh, yeah, that's mine does, too. But the oh. tip of mine cracked the green oh, tip no. plastic part. I don't know. I really wipe it off. Yeah. And it just cracked. Okay. I mean, it doesn't hinder it at all. But yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah. I don't know what it is about it. It's not my mother's glue gun. <laughs> biased. You're it's biased. It gives out, man. I'm I'm going to hate life because <laughs> I, I don't even clean it anymore. Yeah. That's sad. Um, I still have like one of my first ones, but them things leak so bad. Yeah. Well, I'm scared if I try to clean this one off, it's just going to fall might, apart. It might fall apart, yeah. Yeah, I think the hot glue is what's actually keeping it together. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, you figure she's been gone seven years, and I've had it that seven years using it constantly. Yeah. This thing's made probably over 300 bottles, textured bottles. Oh, wow. That's insane. yeah. If it breaks, I'm going to cry. Vic said, try to find one like it. And I said, no, honey, they don't make them like that anymore. I don't right. think. I don't even know where she got it from. It's, yeah, it's probably really old. Yeah. You, no telling how many years she had it before she passed. Right. Some of these glue sticks do not want to slide through these things right. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Ooh, we're going to use. Okay, Allison, have a good night. Bye, Allison. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging, sweetheart. Cheryl, 3D printing is addicting. It's expensive, but it's addicting. <laughs> Just like drones. Don't ever let your husband get into flying drones. <laughs> right? <laughs> He just 
built a new one, and I think he has two more that he's building. Oh wow! Right behind it. Yeah. And poor Mary. I tell I, Mary. I tell Victor every time you try to watch, but you can't watch the video. <laughs> it makes her dizzy. It does me too. That's why I can't fly. Oh, look at it. Ain't that cute? Oh, that's super cute. I love anything red and black. It's not cute. I should see my red and black crocheted sweater my mother crocheted for me. Oh, you told me about that. <laughs> it's a sight to see, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she did it because that's what I wanted. I wore that thing proudly for a few years and then I was like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> kind of like the ugly Christmas sweater, you know? Yep. Yep. I wish I this red, red lace was a little bit of a darker red, but it's still pretty like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the black almost wants to make it look pinkish. Yeah. In this, well, this red gem, it just, you know, it's a dark, mm -hmm. it's a little the darker. Good night, Allison. I think I already said goodnight to her. I don't remember. <laughs> but what time is it? Oh, quarter to Almost one. one for probably me. Should hop off. Yeah. yeah. Probably should hop off from this. Do you, Kiki? I won't get rid of it, though, because my mother hand crocheted it. <sighs> Terrible. Pass it down to the little ones. Yeah, I doubt they'll ever want it. <laughs> True. Uh, they'll see it in my closet after I pass away. Be like, what was she thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to put a label on it. <laughs> yeah. Great, great. Grandma Naylor crocheted this. Do not throw it away. Yeah, My mom, they were on their way to the, it's a two, hour, <laughs> two and a half hour drive where they had to go today. And they got halfway there and the place called and said that their power was out. So they had to reschedule it for tomorrow. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah. It's crazy two and a half hours she has to drive yeah no no pictionary tonight um <laughs> well we could i have my sketch board right there yeah i got mine too <laughs> <laughs> y'all really want to see me in my bad drawing that bad <laughs> um, oh yeah and uh youtube is um check your guys's subscribers if you know you're subscribed to certain people Go make sure you're still subscribed and their notification bells are ringed. Yeah. Or wrong because they're, uh, YouTube's doing that thing again. And yeah. Shannon had over a, hand, a couple handful of people yesterday. Yep. And I had a couple. I am completely active on. Yeah. So just another heads up on that. But yeah. Your bell was off. Mary's was off. A couple of yep. people I was completely unsubscribed to. Yeah. I had to unsubscribe you and resubscribe so I could ring your bell. Yeah. Yep. It was crazy. It was. Yeah. Pictionary is going to be on Kiki's channel Saturday. Yeah. We're going to do it a little different. We're going to change a few things up too. Yeah. We're, we're going to make it, it harder. Harder for than sure. the last time. Yeah. For sure. Where's the. So I can't tell which one's which. Took me a second. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to package these. I might just do three in a pack. Right. I think that's a good buy. I do too. They're so pretty. And you got, what did you say? You got 10 big ones? Uh, 11. 11? Yep. Uh, you need to get, if you can get one more, then you could do four sets per, per roll. Oh, yeah. You can back down to eight instead of nine. Yeah. Eight hearts, because you can obviously do the six. Yep. I could do seven or eight. Well, I'll probably change it up. I'll probably do a few different ones, you know. Yeah. Like this one has nine. So I could probably do some with eight, seven, and then do some with six. Right. Then you'll have all different sizes. Yep. yep. Yeah. And you could even package uh, three one of different each. sizes. Yeah. 
that would be a nice set to do three different sizes. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern time for the yeah. Pictionary. No, this week it'll be on Kiki's. Oh, not that one, dang it. It'll be on Kiki's channel. I'll be there, Shannon. I think Mary might. Right, Mary? And then I know Kathy will be there. Uh, love to learn, uh, live to learn. Dana will be there. Mark, tater top Mark. I'm trying to get Mr. Michael to rig him up a table. He just here. wants to play so he can win. That's, the, he, that's, yeah, that's what he exactly. wants. No, just so he can be a chat rousing us. Yeah. He was giving me heck last night. He was being, uh, yeah, he was. He was being a brat. <laughs> he was. And then, then I didn't catch it last night, but he actually compared me to a yam. Yes, he did. I, I, when I rewatched today, I messaged him. I'm like, did you actually compare me to a yam? <laughs> he was like, maybe. And I said, well, you're a freaking pelican. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, call your jets. <laughs> Too funny. That's funny. He's hilarious. <clears throat> I don't and click. I just got to figure out what the price of these ones are going to be. Because usually I figure out my other, my prices on my other ones are pretty easy. But these ones, I don't know. They're dainty. Uh -huh. They're super cute. I love these. Yeah, everybody make sure you have Kiki that way. Yeah, and ring her bell. Yeah. And go comment on one of Kiki's videos that way. It doesn't just think four hundred. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't we wish we could get that amount? I know. Yeah, if you go and comment, that way it'll stick. Hopefully. Yeah. I've got little glue pieces coming off in there. And that could be another thing too, just because we're active going to watch your lives and stuff and, but we're not like actually commenting on videos cause we're commenting in your lives. Yep. That could be why we're getting the bells unrung. Yep. And also um, I was watching um, the frugal crafter, a video she did and uh, she went, I don't know how to explain it really, but you'll just have to go watch it to understand it, I guess better. But say, um, I did a tutorial showing you guys how to do this. It's like a 10 minute tutorial. And then I went into something else. So I had my video was like 30 minutes. Well, y'all just seen how I made this. So you pause that video and then you're going to go and make it or whatever you're going to make. YouTube takes that as you're done watching that one. So there's no reason for that to be in your, you know, your, your channel feed or whatever. And uh -huh. so now, um, if the next person goes and watches the whole video, it'll stay, you know, in rotation. Whereas if three other people are like, hey, check out this video, you know, and it's just, it, it's crazy. If you watch the videos through all the way, then they rotate your, the videos will be rotated. But if you're, if people are only watching up to a certain point, that means that. YouTube is going to remove that from the recommended or from the watched because people aren't going past a certain point. So there's no reason for that video to be circulating. Yep. yep. It's crazy. I always watch it all the way first on a tutorial. And then if I want to do it, I go back and then I'll pause. Yeah. As I'm going back through it the second time. Yeah. I usually like, there's a lot of stuff where like when I was trying to work on my mama's bag, I couldn't, I've only done the zipper like adding a zipper inside an inside zipper from the outside it's tricky and i've uh -huh. only done it once and so i had to watch a video on how to do it and that's what i was doing but i'd have to pause it i wouldn't do that step and then i would unpause it but then after i got done i sat and went to the beginning of that video and let it play all the way through because uh -huh. otherwise it would be like oh well you know and the only way you can find these videos is if you know the keywords and are searching for specific words or you go to that channel, you know, but if they're, if they're unsub, you know, if YouTube is unsubbing you from people, you're not going to know they're not there no more. Exactly. So yeah, you don't know unless you go and you actually check 
your channels, you know, to make sure you're still there. And we yeah. won't know. In we'll another way, another way to help is uh, to for them to stop doing that, or well, for it to affect you as much is your if you have your watch history turned on to where you know you can go back and see what you've already watched. If you go through and clear that, like I do, I clear mine every other week. And if it's something that I want to watch again, I click to add it to a playlist, like a watch later, or I made my own private play playlist for stuff. I add it into the playlist. And then I go through and delete all my watched history. Yeah. Because if you're only watching up to a certain point, and you're like, oh, well, I'll just, you know, come back to my history and watch it later. YouTube's still only seeing it as you're only watching 10 minutes or five minutes of that video. So they're not going to have it in rotation. So it's good to add it to playlists too. So that away. Hi, Susan. Welcome. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, I lost four last night during my live. Yeah. But I think that's because some of the crafting girls that are, they don't realize that I have another side besides crafting. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, I don't mean to offend anybody, but that's, you know, that's yeah. my life. Yeah, now I get, I don't even know what I'm going to put for these. Um, I don't even know what to put on these for prices. And anytime that I do a live for crafting, it will be labeled crafting something. You know, it'll right. have crafting in the title. If it doesn't have crafting in the title, it's probably just to hang out with my friends. And yep. it goes to left field a lot. I really try to keep Michael reeled in. <laughs> it's hard to keep Mr. Michael reeled in. So. Yeah. And like, um, I mean, it's a different crowd. Yeah. You know. Which is, you know, I don't want to offend anybody, but, you know, if they do get offended, you know, then I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm when sorry. we, um, when we move, we're going to, we have a, I actually have another channel, uh, for Squirrel and I, it's the Adventures of Spanky and Squirrel. And it's for when we move and we start doing our farm and the animals and stuff like that. Yeah. It's all going to be done separately from this channel. Yeah. Because I want to keep, you know, my crafting stuff separate from the farming stuff or whatever type thing, you know. I had actually thought about that was separating, you know, but, I, you know, I, it it's who I am. And, and my channel is in the description. It says what my channel Hi, is all about. It depends <laughs> on the day. Yeah. You know, it just depends on my day to what is going to be on my channel that day. Yep. My, I pulled yeah. these out. And my said, came off. What she's talking about, we're angels. <laughs> what she talking about, we're angels. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you. I said Michael. Is our yeah, she didn't say you. She's saying Michael. Uh, whiskey's bad too. She's bad. <laughs> yeah, she's up there with. Well, she's not bad as Michael, but she's up there. Oh, she can be. <laughs> <laughs> I love her though. <laughs> Bless her Canadian heart. <laughs> oh, yeah. and her daughter, my Maya. Her name is Maya Sue. And she's just the sweetest. Aw. I call her my Maya. <laughs> <laughs> she is a good woman. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. She's a strong woman. That Whiskey Woman 5 is a strong woman. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that was going to be her. <laughs> my phone just went ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you too. More than you know. <laughs> I slid this in and it, it fell. I didn't have enough glue on the one. It fell off. Uh -oh. but I slid it in. I thought it felt loose. I just, I had turned my gun off already, but I'm going to fix it. It's still not hot enough? No, I guess it no. wasn't. No, my fingernail caught it and I it came off when I put it in there. It's like crap. <laughs> crap. Is it June yet? Oh, Mary, I sent you a picture. Look at what I got Tom today. Okay, let me move this over. 
I got this for Tom today. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring it down to him when we come down. I'll bring it. Oh, that's adorable. Ain't that the cutest thing ever it's in these so moves? Cute. I know. Like, that's it's the cutest so thing. Cute. Hanging on the wall. Yep. That's why I figured. The, it's got like a sheriff badge. Yeah. The, right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. I, I got it today. I had to get it for Tom. Good night, Cheryl. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, Cheryl. Love you, girl. And sweet dreams. Yeah. The, all their like wall decor and stuff was like one, like at Hobby Lobby, they got like the different sections. Each thing's different. You know, they have the, the nautical stuff and then they have like cactus stuff and then they have yeah. car stuff. Well, that was in the Western stuff and all the Western stuff was like marked 50% off. Oh, but I didn't notice it until after we already walking past the part of the island. I seen the sign. I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. Super I cute. think, yeah, Tom will like it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get this glue on there now. I wonder if glue sticks go bad. Do you know what I mean? I don't think so. I think, well, it might depend, you know, maybe elements would kind of change the bonding factor. Maybe. That, yeah, because I have some that I've had for like six years. Yeah. But, oh, shit. Speaking of glue sticks, did I send you glue sticks yet, Mary? I can't remember if I sent them to you yet. <laughs> I don't re I don't think I did yet. I don't remember. I go through glue sticks too fast with these bottles that have any left from six years ago. Oh, shoot. Well, well I have like ones. I get it, and then, like, I'll be like, oh, these are tiny, tiny. Look at, these are the ones Squirrel got me, and they're super tiny. Look at that. Oh, wow. They're, like, super skinny. I Maybe always buy the, uh, I don't know. But I get I, the glue ones. I love them glue sticks. Well, see, like, I forget that I, like, where I put them. So, <laughs> I have to go get more glue sticks. Mary said, no, you didn't. Oh, see, I, okay. Okay. I see. I, I was like, I had a bag and then I was like, well, why are my glue sticks out? And I shoved them back where they went. Because <laughs> <laughs> those were supposed to go to Mary. Yeah. Because like I get the, the 100 count and then yeah. I get another 100 count and then I got a 500 count and a 300 count. I have a lot of glue because I forget where I put them. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'll send these to. These are uh, sure bonders. It's for all all different types of glues. Well, I um used those on a bottle one time, and it was peeling up as I was painting it. Oh. Yeah, so I was like, well, we're gonna have to just go back to the, you know, because I was like, I'm using so much, and the Gorilla Glue sticks are a little expensive. Right. Uh, well, I'll just have to go back to it. I tried to go cheap, but you can yeah. tell. Yeah, I, I, I know like certain like um there's glue sticks from Dollar Tree. I won't use Dollar Tree glue sticks. Those are cheaply done. Mary but, said you probably just put them in the box you're bringing. Well, I can ship them to you before if you need them before. But her box is big as it is. I find stuff and I'll be like, oh, Mary will like that. And I'll put it in a box. <laughs> I've got a box for Maya Sue like that. And I keep throwing stuff into it. As I'm going through <laughs> stuff. Yep. I'm not a bulk buyer, but I am a multiple buyer. I'm not really a bulk buyer. No, I'm not. I don't, I'm not, I don't classify as a bulk buyer. Uh, that buyer. It's like, okay, so I got some of these gems today. Because I needed them for my flowers. So I need them. So I bought like multiples of the same one. Not for bulk buying, but because I need to use them. Yeah. So I don't run out. Because if they don't have no more at the store, then I ain't going to be able to have none. That's why I buy multiples. Because I'm yeah. worried I'm still going to need more and they're not going to have them. Yeah, that's why I, I don't call it bulk buying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have Kiki's uh, auction box over here, which has other stuff in it. 
Mary said, if you lost mine, you probably have already thrown them in the box. Probably. <laughs> well, no, because I had them out on my other table and I was like, okay, well, why are these out? And I wasn't even thinking about it. I had them out because I was going to put them in her box or send them to her. And then I was like, forgot all about it. And I threw them back in the drawer. I love how these ones turn out. These ones are my favorite. I love that sparkly. Yeah, I love that lace. Yeah. And I wish I could, I wish I knew where I got it because I don't even, I think I got it. I got it at the thrift store, but I'd love to get more of it because this is pretty lace. I went to buy some from, you know, where overseas. Yeah. Never realized that they charge you the, if you buy two of the same thing, they still double the shipping. I'm like, that is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I won't be buying lace from there. You know, one yard, what's that going to do you? You, know, you need yeah. at least three or four yards of something. Yep. But I'm not well, going to pay $8 in shipping for something that costs a dollar per yard. Right. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't blame you there. Eyelet lace. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, eyelet lace. Yeah, I don't know. I, I had it in my stash for a while. It was in my bag of laces and ribbons and stuff. And I've seen it. And I was like, oh. I bet I could use that. So I did it one night. I love how they turned out. It's so soft. I found a beaded head thing from like back when, from like the cigarette girls and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the yeah. whole thing that covers your head in beads. Found oh, one wow. of them. I have no clue what I'm going to use it for, but it was beautiful. And it was a dollar at Goodwill. I'm like, oh, I nice. All I seen was beads and I pulled it out and figured out what it was, you know, a headdress. I was like, oh, I got to have that. I, that, yeah, I get stuff like I'll, I'll see jewelry and I'll show mom and I'll be like, oh, this is cute. And I'm like, well, it'd be used as, uh, you know, I'd cut it up or um, if I buy beads, anything with beads, I'm chopping it up. Mm -hmm. I have a queen size pillowcase, which queen sizes are big, you know, queen size pillowcases are huge. And I have a queen size pillowcase that's packed full from all the way to where about like two inches from the top because it's side shut full of broken jewelry and old jewelry of mine oh my God. i need to go through that shit i don't even know what i did with that thing oh. one of these drawers it's so purdies <laughs> show tom his present ah dang it all right. Now, Tom, you don't get it until I come there. And, and oh, you, you have to wait. <laughs> so you're going to be waiting two months. I won't be there for two months, which is 60 days. So you have He's to wait be, 60 days for me, and I'll bring it. He's going to be asking Mary every day, Mama, when's Spanky coming? I uh, know. He, he's already going to start asking. Yeah. He's going to think. Wake up tomorrow and think you're going to be there. He's not up yet. <laughs> no one I did with that blasted thing. <laughs> I just seen it not too long ago. Oh, yes, Kiki, definitely. There's, I think there's makeup in that bag and all sorts of crap up in there. Stop it. Pull the camera down a little bit. Uh, whiskey's got to run. Bye, Whiskey. Okay. Sweet dreams. Bye, Bree. Have a good night, honey. Yeah, we're going to be hopping off here soon, too. You got the baby tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> no 5 a.m. chat for us. Yeah, right. front of his journal. Oh, that would be super cute on the front yeah, of his it's flat. Yeah, because she could glue the, the boots and all too. Yeah. yeah. Them. Oh, that would be super cute on a journal. <laughs> yeah. I think it's super cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get off of here myself. It, it hangs on the wall. It's a wall hanging. You hang it up on the wall. And it's got sheriff boots and a sheriff badge. It's a sheriff badge with a hat and gloves and boots. Hi, Gigi. Ah, oh, we're fixing to head off soon. <laughs> I have to tinkle and Tom will probably have to get it in his hand to understand. Yeah. Yeah. I'll it's probably wrap cool. it up and send it because that way he can have it beforehand. It is adorable. Yeah, I got it for Tom. And you got it where? Hobby Lobby? Hobby Lobby. Yeah. They had some cute Western stuff there. I love the Western area in there. That whole everything, the old classic cars and yes, everything. the car section. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I like um the nautical area is pretty too. Yeah. I don't know. I live in Florida and nautical's just pff, everywhere. When you get it, Tom, you'll when I I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll put it in the mail. I'm going to wrap it up and I'll send it to you and then you can see what it is. But you can hang it on the wall on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> yeah, I made flowers tonight, Gigi. These. Oh, got the yawns going now. Mm -hmm. This is what I made tonight. Showed how I made these. Bring them up a little. Thank you. Couldn't see them. Yep. There you go. Yeah, I forgot I moved my webcam a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you were down. <laughs> yep. So freaking pretty. I know. I love them. I love I thought how about putting them without one on the back. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about getting a little. You can buy like the uh, pre cut circles. Yeah, so I thought about getting some white ones or um, ivory go. colors or something and putting them on the backs. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, so that's what I made. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll Mary. Go to Mary Mary's I got a been, video up. Yeah, yes, Mary Gigi. was on. She was buffering, and then my internet went out on me. I was like, seriously? Oh. Yeah, I, I seen. <laughs> I had just gotten home from meeting with uh, Kathy D and I seen that she was on. I was like, oh man. So I click it and she was, I missed her She's like 14 minutes. I was like, damn it. Yep. <laughs> yes, Gigi, these will be in the auction. And then I also have um, some others I've been working on. Um, a lot that I've been working on. <laughs> um, I just did these tonight. Oh, I got a bent flower. She says, I want them now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been making these, so I'll have some more. And these have purple in the centers. And then I have some with, um, these are uh, pearl purple centers and button centers and blue and green. I just changing up the centers. The buttons and then, are adorable. Yeah, and then I got more of these ones that I'll have in there. And then I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue, purple, pink, pink, black. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I call them my sunflowers. Those are my fave. And there's no tutorial on these at all on this, how these are done. I did this all on my own. So it's my own doing with these. I didn't watch nobody. I didn't watch anybody to make any of these. It's all just in my head. Uh, one night, Kiki and I were messing around and that's... It just happened. So um, I can't give credit where, you know, except for to me and Kiki. So, but these were, I just figured these all out on my own. But so these will all be in the auction too. And I'll have some more of the smaller ones. And I am, we are working on mini, mini ones. And I'm going to put some roses. I might make up some small roses. We'll see. But there will be bigger roses in there. But yeah, I have a whole slew of stuff going to be pop, po uh, going up in there. Well, your Thanks. new cough drops must be working because you have not been coughing. 
I've been paying I attention. know. Um, I've, I've only copped. Let's see. I copped um, once when I was out with Kathy today, and then a really I had a really bad one right after I got my cough drop in my mouth when I was on with Kiki, and then I've only copped. I did cough once, but I turned my microphone off. Um, and then the, which was earlier this earlier tonight. It was like yeah. right after we first got yeah, on. Yeah, you've been really good for like the last few hours. Yeah, I've yeah. been. It's, I've been using these ones. Yep. So I think I just got so used to them other ones, which I I love them. They're, they're Ricolas, but they're the berry ones. And I think I'm just so used to having them, these ones, that they're not affecting me. Yeah, could be. So I, I decided to get this, and I don't like it. They taste nasty, but... Um, so I decided to get this kind. Anything that's good for you does not taste good. <laughs> Gigi says, July is so far away. <laughs> yeah, save your money. I'm going to have an auction. I've got a ton of stamps. Uh, the, the auction will probably just be stamps um, going probably the first week of next month of May. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot of retired stamping up and oh sweet stuff like that. Mostly wood block stamps. There'll be a few uh, the of the rubber clings, but not many. Yeah. Well, um, July thirteenth and October nineteenth. I think it is. Is going to be. I think it's October nineteenth. I got to look. It. Yeah. I was going to have it the set. My birthday's on a Sunday, so I was going to do it the the Saturday before my birthday, but then I decided to wait and I'm going to do it the Saturday after my birthday. Yeah. So October 19th is going to be the next auction after July's because then oh. that can be done and out of the way before I have to go to Florida for my daughter's wedding. So I had planned on doing the stamps this month at the beginning of this month, but when you had to do yours for picks, I was like, Nope, we'll just yeah. we'll hold out. And which I planned on an auction, like we've already had the auction in place since the last one I did in November, but um, it just so happened that everything else went on and it just yeah. kind of yeah. like, I mean, I still planned on one anyways, but it just had a different reasoning for it. Exactly. Yeah. So, so market calendar, July 13th. And I think, um. I don't think I'm going to go on it like that. I think I'm going to do it earlier than like 7 p.m. But he, he doesn't get out of work till 6 or no, 5 on Saturdays. He gets out at 5, but I can start it like while he comes home, takes a shower. I can get, you know, I'll have things going anyway. So, yeah, we'll probably go on at like, I'll probably say, uh, I'll probably go on and maybe around 4 p.m. I'm thinking but 4 p.m. Because I, I, I don't want to be on all night. Yeah, Kiki said maybe start at 5. 4 or 5, yeah. Because I want to try to get through everything. Like, I wasn't expecting to be on as long as I was that one night either. You had a lot of stuff those I did. You. And yeah. you're going to have a lot of stuff this next time too, so. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do the flowers differently. I'm going to have them in lots, like. You know, and they're even if covered. you do just split it up to two days, you know, that wasn't yeah. bad. No, but not at all. Time, do it two days back to back. Yeah, I would do a Saturday and a Sunday back to back. Yep. Yep. I'll probably do that. That way I'm not on because after about four hours, I'm had. Like yeah. my, I'm had anyways because I'm standing up or sitting down too much and my back starts hurting really bad. Yep. And. I just, I hate keeping people here that long that, you know, like the mods that help out and stuff, you know, they feel obligated to stick around and, you know, yeah. so yeah, I'll probably just have it like try to do three hour max and then we'll finish, you know, get through, get through what I can and do the rest of the next day. I say take your, what are the products you have and just like split them in half. Yep. However you have my flowers. Have, split them in half. Yeah. Yeah. Half my flowers on one day and the other half on the next day. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Split, split it up. Flowers up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, you all. I think we are going to call it a night. Good night, because everybody. Shannon and I could sit here and talk for another I'm five hours. You can't see me. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally supposed to work on a bottle, but I didn't. <laughs> I know. But yeah, Shannon and I, we just, you know, we'll say good night for about three more hours. Yeah. And we'd still be here. So, but loves and hugs, you guys. Thanks for hanging. Bye, oh, guys. Thanks for stopping in, Justin. Nice to see you. Have a good night. And I will catch you guys later. I will be live Sunday, and I think we're going to do acrylic pours Sunday. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be messy. I got to clean my, I got to clean everything first. <laughs> but all right, you guys. Loves and hugs. Mary. I'll see you guys later. Good night, Mary. Love you. I'm going to give you a quick call on a few if you want. Good night, Kiki. Good night, Kiki. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.